dans le tournoi aujourd'hui Aucune idée. Il faudrait que je regarde, on va voir ensemble. Ok, so first match will be none other than Haruki vs Yoshida. Both are uh, veterans of the Brojo Cup and both are extremely strong uh, players as well. Definitely looking forward to their uh, performance today. I'm just going to ask you to wait a couple of seconds, guys, because I still need to uh, just, just in case keep an, a small eye on the bracket just to see if everything goes well. So the first match, usually I don't talk a lot, but don't be, uh, uh, don't, don't worry too much. I am very talkative uh, to the point that people actually ask me to shut up for some time. So as soon as I finish seeing whether everything is going fine or not, I will uh, be sending you, uh, I will be, uh, hmm. Hmm? yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, succeed in the succeed in the night, succeed in the night, yeah, 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 Okay, so, uh, yeah, just give me a couple of seconds because Tonamel has been updated. I'm trying to make use of a new feature that they have. It's called the memo, and it's uh, right above each match of each bracket of the bracket and it basically helps to tell players uh, that their matches are screened but i can see that some players started to uh like ask uh their opponent to create the, the room and start uh, playing offline so yeah i, I had to, to get upon myself to uh, just you know send a message to each uh each room and say no don't start playing please just wait yeah sorry so i think we're gonna stick to the old the old ways. Anyways, I'm sorry for the wait and uh, let's start playing. Okay, so first Yoshida right there. He is one match down as I could have seen. I just saw it really, really quick during the first match. How did you manage to say to the first, uh, the first, the first, the first, what is called? Uh, the first, um, the first match. Oh, and here we go with Haruki going right underneath the Fudra Dark from Yoshida. Yoshida trying to run after him, goes with the stun that for Roman cancels and take the win. And just like this, I think Yoshida actually puts one on the board. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, it, it did. Sorry, you have to check in the general bracket, not your personal bracket. Check the general bracket and your match, and you'll see there's a header right above uh, the na your name and the name of the opponent, and it's written a stream. <clears throat> If you check it, yeah. Anyways, here we go with Haruki going with the 5 HS uh, counter hit. And Haruki having the corner positioning. He's going with the Roman cancel to extend uh, the pressure right there. He's trying to open Yoshida up. Oh, and here we go. Yeah, Yoshida actually managing to take that throw, man. Very nicely done by Yoshida. He is out of pressure trying this time around to push Haruki in the corner. Haruki and the freaking... Oh, the reflexes of that man, unfortunately, couldn't check that backdash from Haruki and Haruki took this opportunity to not only deal a counter hit, but also confirm into the overdrive for the kill. Very nicely done by Haruki. Nice awareness, didn't panic. Oh, and you see that went a little bit too far on that, on that Fudra Dark. Oh, and the use of the guard point right there from Haruki, but he got counter hit right there by Yoshida, and Yoshida going air-to-air -air counter and tried to get the juggle, unfortunately dropped it, goes for the Fudra Dark for the extension into the Roman cancel, tries to grab Haruki out of the air, unfortunately Haruki was a little bit too quick for that. Here we go with the stun edge. Oh, and he's got the four, he's got the six HS counter hit, and this should be, now he drops the combo, still catches the back dash, but couldn't quite confirm it, wakes up DP, and goes for the grab for the kill. Okay, one match, one round of peace. Very nicely done by Yoshida. Definitely not out of the wood yet. No, I'm not out of the wood yet at all, but we'll see, we'll see. Okay, anyways, here we go uh, with uh, the Fudra Dark. And oh lord! Oh, and Yoshida really on point with uh, using the 2P to kill uh, the minions, to get rid of the minions of Haruki. Again with the text, man. These guys are on point. And you can see Yoshida noticing that Haruki was going for the tech, uh, that Haruki is actually on point with the tech, tried to go for Shemi, but Haruki did invite, and rightfully so, unfortunately, a little bit too far this time around for the grab, Haruki goes for the tick pressure, 
has oh, again uses the guard point extremely well. Tries to go for the 2D. Oh, and gets hit by the 4HS. Again with the 2D this time around. Deals a knockdown. Unfortunately, it was a trade, so couldn't quite uh, ready any sort of Okizama. And immediately goes for the overdrive. This should be the kill. Good stuff by Oshida. Puts another one on the board. 2 to 1. Okay, one more chance. Well, one more chance for Haruki. No, well, one more chance for uh, Yoshida, actually. He needs two match in a row if he wants to stay in the winner's bracket. Haruki versus Yoshida is a very, very, very... Uh, how do you say? A very... Um, th they both have a very similar uh, level, I believe. So it can really go both ways. I wouldn't be surprised if Yoshida makes a huge comeback. Unfortunately, gets hit by the 2D counter hit. And here we go with the jump in by Haruki. Goes for the cross up counter hit. He gets the juggle using the minion. Goes for the MT. Now the MTD safe jump. Manages to bait that DP from Yoshida. And goes for the grab again with the tech. Oh, and he uses the minion to continue the offense and get the kill. Very nicely done. Good stuff from uh, Haruki. Uh, Yoshida goes with the whiff punish right there immediately into the stun dipper. Goes for the Dire Ankle, unfortunately, Haruki blocked that, man. Very nicely done, Haruki. Oh, and the jump in by Yoshida. Haruki gonna pop the burst? No. Still confident. Oh, and here we go with the tick pressure. Oh, goes for the 2S. Nope. Haruki not biting. Gets hit by the 2D counter. Hit. He bades the burst. You hate to see it. Nice burst, Yoshida. Nice burst. Here we go with the safe jump. Tick pressure tries to bait either YRC, but probably not. Just the burst. But you see that just being very reasonable in the juggle though, using two of the minions on screen. Haruki not biting with the burst and he finally pops it. Ah, oh, tries to go for the jump and unfortunately Haruki jumps out of it. We'll go with the blocks. 2D again, Roman cancels to make it safe. Tries to go for the direct club, but no, no one's home. Oh no, it gets shit by the minion. Star point again, again with the minion pressure, man. Oh, I thought he was gonna get hit by the minion and still does at the end. And just like uh, this, Haruki takes it. Gonna be none other than Akihira versus a Jungle Boy, also known as Sora. So Akira, very strong Nagori player. I really hope that uh, Sora is going to show his uh, prowess. And now he tried to go to bait the burst. And yet again, Akira not biting. Oh, he's got the... Oh, he had the back turn. Oh, he went over the... Uh, uh, he went over the Beyblade. Unfortunately, couldn't quite get anything off of it. Very nice confirm from Sora. Goes for the juggle, the corner combo. He's going to get the wall break with the Jacques Chirac. <laughs> Jacques Chirac. He really says it. I'm sorry. Oh, but very nice check right there from Akira. Deals with two S counter hit. And uh, again with another counter hit. Oh, he didn't go for the Roman Castle. And Sora not confirming there. It was really unfortunate. He goes for the Nugget Burger. Goes for the Smite. Gets hit by the 6 HS. Double 6 HS. And Akira going for the Quick Dusk. Roman Castle to kill. Uh, still, all things considered, very nice uh, first round for Sora. Ah, I guess it by the 4K. You hate to see it. Akira with the Okize. Oh, doesn't have an Okize. Actually, goes with the 4HS. And bad Fukios and uh, Sora just running straight into it. Oh, no. Gets hit by the 4HS. Counter it. Very nice grab right there from Sora. It's not over till it's over for... Oh, and he's going to get the, the wall break yet again. Very nicely done. Oh, and Sora going for the Roman cancel. And Akira not biting, man. Just content to just block. No entire... Yeah, a little bit too far for that. Run straight into a 2S. That being said, not over till it's so far. Sora tries to finish. Oh, he goes for the quick dust. And Akihi actually not biting. Very nicely done. Okay, here we go. Akihira already on the offense. Gets the knockdown. Pushes Sora ever so slightly in the corner. Sora waking up with Nugget Burger. And the check from Akira Standing P for the entire. He goes for the clone. The grab. Okay, here we go with the tick pressure. Oh, Sora had the good idea to backdash. But didn't immediately hit a button. Oh, but he did get the... Oh, the HS. He goes for the jump in. Gets the confirm. Gets the side switch. Akira. Oh, getting hit. And here we go with the extension station. Sora going with the wall break. He's gonna get a positive bonus. But oh, he tried to go for the jump in. Oh, and now on the forward Fukio for uh, the freaking kill. Good stuff from Akira takes at the first time. match. It is definitely not over till it's over. Our jungle boy is definitely bound to surprise us in a many, many different ways. Okay, that being said, uh, here we go already with Sora popping the burst, getting hit yet again by the Beyblade. 
sent directly in the corner, and Akira going for the save jump. Run Fukio into Asurayuki. What suited this, Mother Humper? Here you go, boom! Poor Sora sending flying through the freaking wall. Oh no, no, I run straight yet again into the 2S counter hit, man. And Sora with the tick pressure tries to go out of the corner, manages to deal the bow again with the grab. Oh, and the freaking overhead back turn for the wall break. Not over, dead over. No, no, yes. Yes, Sora. Yes, Sora. Is he going to make a comeback? Oh, no, Akira wakes up. Oh, no. Oh, we're going to take pressure. Gets it again by the DS, man. You hate to see the bane of Sora, man. Running straight into it. But all things considered, yeah, no, no, Sora is definitely doing very good against it, unfortunately, by the stomp. Gets the nose to jump in, but gets, no. Akira blocking right in time not to get hit by it. Again with the check, man, the freaking standing P. It's working so good as an under. Here we go with the Nugget Burger. Oh, gets the 4 HS, but Akihira on point with the grab of the divide. Gets the jump in and finishes off with the 2S. Akira up 2-0. to zero. What is Sora gonna do? What is Sora going to do? We shall see. The last chance for Sora to try to make things right. Oh, gets it immediately counter hit by the DP. You hate to see it. And he really tries to invite. He tries to invite Akira to like press a button during his uh, his block pressure. But oh, ooh, nice back dash. Unfortunately, gets it by the two S two HS yet again. Again, two HS counter hit and confirms into the Beyblade for the kill. This is match point. What is Sora gonna do? Oh lord, gets hit by the 6P. Oh, nice wake up. Oh, a bar it from Sora. No, oh, no, gets hit by the grab. Sora, Sora, don't die. No, gets hit again by the 2S. Oh, and here we go with the bite. The vampire kiss again with the vampire kiss. Sora waking up with the golden burst. Here we go, American. Come back, here we go. No, he couldn't quite get the cross up. You're to see it. Oh, no, he tries to go for a grab, but yeah. Akira with the. Oh! Here we go! Here we go! Here we go with the side switch! It's not over till it's over! So I can make it! And he gets hit by the goal! <laughs> this is unfortunate! This is unfortunate by fight! Match Bar versus Tsuboy, both Japanese individuals! Yo, Doc! Hi, Kai, and very nice commentary last time. Thank you very much, much appreciated! I hope my yelling didn't pierce your ears too much, though! <laughs> but, anyways, that being said, here we go with the match! Gonna be none other than RF versus Tsuboy! RF already forced to pop the burst! To get out of Tsuboy's pressure! Here we go with the fart! Oh, and RF finding the opening with the dive! An unfortunate trade right there for Tsuboy! You tried to get the momentum back! We go to jump in, and the bar from RF, he gets that wig on fire. We don't need no water, let that freaking wig burn. And Tsuboy down health right now, but it's okay, nothing that he cannot deal with. And that being said, RF with the freaking confirm, cannot get the OTG right there for the kill. And gets the kill with the check 2P, very nicely done by RF, gets the first round. Let's see if uh, Tsuboy can bring this back, we shall see, very nice sweep right there from RF managed to get the knockdown, fortunately, Tsuboy using the very, very quick chip is right back where he was. Ah, uh, he drops the combo, and RF takes this opportunity to bring the man to a barber shop. He's gonna get... Oh! He almost got the... Oh, he is going to get the knockdown. And wake up DP from Tsuboy. Oh, the young man, not patient. Oh, he goes for the overhead. There we go, and... Unfortunately, didn't have the tension bar in order to get the hard knockdown with the overdrive, but it's still okay. Back to neutral, and the mix, mix, mix to catch that back dash attempt from Tsuboy RF. Definitely looking out for it. Go straight for the overdrive, and let's see that beautiful chip face. Oh my lord, that seemed very painful. Very nicely done, by RF. Uh, takes the first match very convincingly, but it's okay. Young Tsuboy is young, he definitely can. Uh, his young mind will definitely find some contingency, con contingency, I hate this word, contingency plan. <laughs> I hope I said it correctly. I'm not American, nor am I a native English speaker. Please forgive me if I say stuff that is either not grammatically correct or just plain old stupid. But that being said, here we go with the YRC from RF getting out of the pressure of Tsuboy, forcing him to pop the burst. And that big, big, big 6HS right there from Tsuboy gets the, 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 what's it called, the counter hit. Uh, he's got RF in the corner, but, oh lord, trying to get that jump in, but RF man with the Abare. 
Yamari. Oh, she's got the cross up with the scarecrow. Using the meteors. A very nice awareness from Arv gets the first round of the second match. Oh, and that's away with the confirms. Gets the jump in counter. He's gonna get a full combo in the corner. Or yeah, decent 35%, 40% damage. Now let's see 35. And here we go with the knockdown. Subway deciding not to use the bars and he used it right here for the corner ladder combo and gets the kill. Good stuff, young Subway. Not out of this yet. Okay, here we go with the second round. That's the boy going straight right underneath uh, RF, but RF using the jumping D to light him up. Gets out of the pressure and also deals a little bit of damage in the process. Actually, some decent damage. Goes for the overhead, but Suboy on point with the blocks. He heals A4S counter it again with the blocks. This time around, he uses the 6P to say, No, you don't, sir. You do not spear me. Here we go, jumping 2D forces RF to pop the burst. RF with the head bomb goes for the dive. Gets the trumpet and the juggle from it. Goes for super what? Nani ga deru kana? Oh! Some boy first pop the burst. No, he gets. Oh no! He got hit by the 4K. RF up 2 to 0. How are you doing, Shiho san? And welcome back. How have you been? I hope you've been well, Shiho san. And on to the next battle. Tsubo in his last legs, he needs to make something happy, he needs to open RF up, gets hit by the dive yet again, here we go, the spear currently blocked, and Tsubo using the very quick chip to uh, close the distance between RF and him and deal a knockdown, this time around RF tried to bring the heat, but Tsubo fighting for his life, trying to bring that momentum up, but still gets hit by that pesky mix 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 man. That everybody hates except Fox players. <laughs> Again with the OTG uh, overhead and that anti air man. Mix, mix, mix. Couple with the trumpet, the cavalry. And again with the mix, mix, mix catching systematically Tsuboy and his attempt to bad dash right there. Arf definitely onto something. And Tsuboy probably, yeah, not recognizing that Arf is definitely capitalizing off of it. Go again with the. Oh lord! The far just counter hit into the freaking club, the golf club, man. Oh, Lord. And the way, here we go. You can see the, yeah, RF's proficiency, making good use of of uh, checking each and every item that comes out and knowing exactly what. <gasps> he gets the double and he gets the bait of the burst. That was an unfortunate burst from Tsuboy. He is. Okie dokie, sorry for the wait! Sorry for the wait! Okay, I'm back and already still uh, making some uh, very big damage right there using the Kabari. Goes for the cross up, almost got the juggle, but it's okay. Kabari for the rescue and still uh, putting the first round on the table, saying it's mine, it's not yours. Oh lord, but gets hit out of the air by the Fudra Dark. Wake up Abari by Stella, very nice on point right there, the 6P to catch uh, the uh, Fudra Dark and to check it out. Oh, unfortunately for Stella, a little bit too far from his opponent in order to gain the wall break. I goes for a, a Yozan Sen on the wake up. And you Capello, oh, he was on the verge of getting wall break. Here we go with the jump in by Stella, goes for the Tatami Gaishi. Wow, what was that? What was that? A wake up DP by you Capello, a little bit too far to get the following uh, Fudra Dark to connect. And Stella using this opportunity to take the first match with a whiff punish. Very nicely done. Okay, and on to the second match. Let's see how this is going to pan out. Okay, let me check the brackets real quick. Very, very quickly. Everything fine. Everything fine. And oh, the very unfortunate burst from you, Capello. Gonna pay it with a lot of damage to his health. Boom, boom. Get out of here. Boom. Still uh, with the hefty life lead. 
Also has quite the resources, uh, not only with a detention bar, but the burst as well. And just as I say this, you got Bill finding the opening using the Stun Dipper. Immediately causes Terra to pop the burst and still uh, catching these people trying to jump out of the corner. No siree, you do not. Uh, very nicely done by still, I guess, the two has counter and he goes for the save. No, he tried to go for the cross up actually. But landing in front of Yucapito who had committed to the wake up DP option. Oh! Oh, Yucapito trying to jump over using the stun, not the stun, the pretty Fudra Dark to uh, invite Stella to uh, take his prospected grab attempt. Here we go with the. Oh, walk forward, not the walk forward, the uh, running forward. 6p from Stella found the opening, but unfortunately was too down on health to really get anything going on. And Yucapello taking the second round quite convincingly. Very nicely done. Oh, and that part is counter and you hate to see it. Oh, and this time around Yucapello, man. Wake up DP still, but still I was aware this time around. We got the oh, Tatami Gaishi pressure. Oh, catches yet again Yucapello just standing there and not paying attention to his beautiful feet. And takes uh, the round, and uh, therefore the second match. 2-0 to zero for Sutera, very nicely done. Okie dokie, Bridge and Cookie on to the third match. Start of the round to S. Kabari into the follow-up. You can put a little bit slow to try to punish this. So it goes for the cross-up with the Tatami, unfortunately, out of range of his opponent. Wakes up Hidagi, gets it. Oh, lower than the cut, the, 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 I always forget the freaking name of this move, I forget it. The cut, the, oh, good lord. He's gonna do it anyways. I forgot the name. Oh, anyways, he tried to go for a cross up his own and wake up Hiragi yet again, man. And Sia goes for the cross up for the grab. Forces you got to pop the wire. See, no one entire yet again from Suited. I very nicely done. Suted, I take him the first round of his third match. What is Yukapira gonna do? Ah, uh, the Kabari. The Kabari here. We got it. I always forget the name of this freaking move. Anyways, we're going still out going crazy with the Kabari. And thankfully for this, I get to remember the name of this move. Oh, Lord, here we go with the jump in using the uh, cord of the Kabari to land right on top of Yukapiru. Yukapiru using the stun dipper to go underneath the Kabari. I didn't know that was a thing. This time around, baits the Hiragi, punishes it accordingly, but gets hit by the follow up of the Kabari. Gets grabbed. Not enough to kill. Yukapiru on at the verge of getting sent to the losers back in that grow. Lord! Sutera with the freaking blocks, but eventually gets opened up with a quick dust cancel into Roman. Well, Roman canceled. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna go back to the freaking match and wake up DP yet again from you, Capital. Almost got his burst baited right there. Sutera definitely on point. Too far to get the Kabari to connect. Ah, catches yet again. You, Capital, trying to uh, jump with E2HS. He's still going for the cross up. He was on Sandman. He's gonna get the oh, Tatami Gaishi. Oh, very nice back that from you. Capital goes for a oh, oh, almost got the Yuzan on Sandman right there from Sutela. Oh, Lord, oh, the jump in his wheel. Oh, and he gets he connects the Fudra Dark. It's not over till it's over. No, and the back that from Sutela. And this should do if he doesn't drop. And he doesn't drop. Very nicely done by. Okay, and on the way to uh, the next battle, Lenka versus Takarin. Well, both of I, I mean, I already said it, but if you watch at least at least one episode of Brojo Cup, you've probably seen uh, one or the other, but probably more Takarin because he has been very consistent in uh, his participation to the Brojo Cup. Oh, Lord, you have been sent to the losers? How? How is... How? Okay, you has been sent to the losers. I have, I don't, how, how is it possible? Wow, and who sent him to the losers? Let, let me check, I, I'm, I'm really, I'm really surprised right now. I thought you would definitely make it to the semi. Why, Ziri? No way! Oh lord, guys! It, it, there's been a, a huge upset, and not any upset. It's uh, basically uh, Super Saiyan Mike, yeah. Oh yeah, on oh, my mic, yeah. yeah. Can you hear it? 
you can you can ah uh, yeah the super saiyan mic yeah, yeah it was it was the super saiyan mic but anyways guys uh you has been sent to the losers bracket by a chinese may player and you is like the best may player in japan of may so i'm very surprised right now that you actually was sent to the losers bracket by uh by by not only another May player, but one that isn't even in Japan currently. So yeah, this is a huge upset. I'm definitely looking forward to see how this is going to uh, to unfold later on in the bracket. That being said, back to the match. Uh, so Eru uh, versus, well, Lenka versus uh, Takarin. So Lenka rocking that very mean Zato trying to bait that YRC from Takarin. And what the hell was that, man? Takarin using the Axel Bomber to prevent Renka from anti-airing him? How does that make any sense? Well, I don't know, but it works. So he definitely knows he's onto something, man. He did watch. He did dash. That was crazy, man. Anyways, we're going to Takarin, man, with the Lensengeki pressure. Goes cross Anders Renka. Ooh, he tried to bait something right there, I suppose. Okay, we're going with the 6HS. And again with the snail this time around. Accu uh, accurately punished by Renka. Renka with the corner pressure. Oh, he tried to go for a grab. That wasn't even an entire. It wasn't... Anti, anti, yeah, exactly, man. That was crazy. Was that Dato at Evil Japan? I don't believe so. No, I don't think. I don't think so. Renka's from Indonesia, right there, right now. So, um, I don't, I don't think he was at Evil. Well, I didn't see him at least. I think that if he went to Evo, we probably would have met up, we would have seen each other and just met up. But no, I don't think he was. But he was, he's a very strong Zato player. Very deep Yomiya. Yeah, that was crazy, man. That was really crazy. Anyways, with Renka trying to get out of the corner, goes with the over uh, drive extension, and he goes for the command grab, and Takarin should be dead. Yes, he is one round apiece. Renka not out of it yet. Definitely not by any means. Uh, that being said, back to the match, and Takarin not afraid to just jump, not jump for it, but to run forward to try to get out of the corner. Unfortunately, gets opened by Renka. Renka going straight for the overdrive. He's gonna get the wall break. He's gonna go to Evil Japan because of work. That was a depressing week. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. That was a very nice draft. And you're going Renka going with the freaking over the the uh, them. That was gonna be dust, man. For the opening, gets another overdrive into another added pressure. Goes for the toad and Takarin pressing buttons right there and fighting the opening. Oh lord, and that just instant block, man. That was crazy. God, oh no, Renka almost got the jump in. This is what we're doing. Not like this. Not like this, Renka. Renka blocking the dust. Almost got it by the uh, rainwater. The waterfall is going to summon. No. The rainwater, he goes. Oh no, for a pump, but gets hit by the 2 S counter hit. Oh, and then where is he? No! No, he No! Oh no! What is going on? What is going on, Renka? Renka staying alive! Staying alive! He got for the opposing with the two S counter and then he steals it from Takari. That was crazy! Renka steals it at the absolute ending. Very nice awareness of this man, man. Using the oppose to block whatever Takari was throwing at him at this possible at that at that at that absolute moment and then running straight forward pressing 2s counter hit and managing to get the kill and go that was sick man good stuff from uh renka taking the lead right now getting the opening he tried to go and get the extension station but couldn't quite connect and juggle that being said renka going completely am in the corner against the opening with the delayed overhead man good lord i lost my mind which is very very hard for me to do and again with the oppose, but this time around Takarin on point with the uh, Roman cancel to blow that oppose off. And here we go with the rainwater. No entire. Oh! Okay, Takarin. Oh, trying to find the opening. Oh! She goes with the snail, but Ren coming using the RC, man, to, to, uh, to shorten the gap between him and Takarin. Just deal the killing blow yet again, man. Renka on point. What the hell did he eat today? And we're going to delayed overhead. Oh, Lenka jumping over. The uh, grab attempt from Takarin. He gets the command grab yet again. Here we go. Eddie is back. And it is Eddie pressure. But Takarin just, just casually jumping out of the corner. Not really giving an F. Oh, Lord. Here we go. The forest. Forest pressure. Oh, here we go. The bar from Renka again with the oppose. Making very good use of this freaking movement. It's been messing with Takarin so much. It's so crazy. I think I've never really quite seen another Zato doing this tech actually. 
using like recognizing that the enemy is going to try to kill Eddie with the first uh the first hit of his his pike. Wow, that this is big green water. That's an unfortunate burst. Not like this, Renka. Not like this. But it's still okay. Renka up one game and one round anyway, so it's still okay. He definitely can. We'll try to bring it back with this one. That being said, Takani does have one burst right now. Whereas Renka is completely he's completely naked, if I might say. <laughs> Again with the freaking look at this, it's been working so much for him, man. Using the opposed to uh, prevent uh, people to hit Eddie from on his uh, second hit of his spikes. It's been working so well for him. And look at that, man. Renka I'm currently on the freaking lead. Oh, and he gets a wire teammate! Oh, this is huge! Is that gonna kill? No! No, it's not! But he's so close to it! Oh, and dear, we're in favor of Takahin using this opportunity to deal some damage. And I'm gonna say Rainwater again. No, and the good firms! Renka, no, and where is he? Oh, and he goes straight for the dash for the kill! Renka up 2 to 0! Is he gonna do what I think he's gonna do? If he manages to 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 defeat Takarin, this is gonna be the first time that he actually does so in the tournament. So I'm actually quite hyped right now for him. Let's see if he can manage to do this, man. It'll be freaking crazy. Anyway, you're going to jump in good stuff from Tak Renka. Oh lord, Takarin, man. Takarin definitely feeling the heat, man. He does not want to go into loser's bracket already. Using the oppose yet again, Renka, the oppose master. No. Oh, that was a nice burst though from Takani. Prevented, yeah, he prevented uh, Renka from using his overdrive to, um, well, to basically have free pressure right after the wall break. That was crazy, man. That was so crazy. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, Renka out of it. But he still has a hefty life lead, man. He can definitely do it. But look at the resources of Takani, man. Two tension bars. Two tension bars. What is gonna be the mix? Almost got the freaking. Go, oh, no! Oh, he's got the jumping in again. It's so crazy. Takarin, man. Oh, Takarin popped in the, bird, the, the freaking overdrive. Oh, then Link up blocked the correct lead. Oh, and the freaking tick. Rinka is crazy. Rinka is crazy. What did Rinka eat today? I want to eat the same thing. What did he eat today? He's so on point, man. He's so on point, but he did, he did lose, but he, he did some crazy stuff right before, man. Good lord, Rinka, man. Definitely on point. And goes for the casual tea bag. I know it wasn't intentional, by the way. Don't worry. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to 2S. Couldn't quite get anything off of it. Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, rank up. Uh, not rank up. Takani making good use of the standing key, man, to prevent uh, rank up from making his way forward. And you can see now, Takani is afraid of challenging that second hit of Eddie. And uh, upon doing so, opens new doors for rank up to actually apply pressure. And again with the 2S, man. <laughs> Oh, yo, oh, and again, man! Takani popping the bird, uh, popping the freaking overdrive! Oh, goes for the two HS! And he is going to get the kill! Good stuff from Takani, definitely not out of it yet. He can definitely feel the heat right now. Renka definitely giving a, a run for his money to, uh, to, um, to, to Takari, man. And rightfully so, man. That is very good what he's doing right now. And here we go with Takari. Now we're trying to get the jump in, or rather to jump out. Here we go, air to air in favor of Takarin gets the pressure. Goes for the forest, nobody home. Oh, here we go, the standing K who casually was about to entire. Oh, Renka! Renka checking these uh, forward advances from Takarin gets the knockdown uh, very, very narrowly. Tries to entire, but not quite, man. Tries to go for the 2 HS. Takarin committing to just blocking. And again, man, with the oppose. How does he know? How does he know, man? Rika is the freaking opposed master, man. He's been 10 on 10 on it. That being said, Takarin back on track. He has one bar of tension. Can definitely make stuff happen. Probably not kill in one go, but can definitely apply pressure. And uh, back to the neutral. Rika on prime position. Oh, no. Try to go for air doer, but nobody was home. Takarin finds the opening. Probably going to try to beat that burst, but Renka not committing to popping it. And rightfully so. Oh no! Oh lord! He catches the back dash though! Ooh, he got for the cross up! That was so cheeky! He cannot get a side switch, can he? But it's still okay, he has some more Eddie pressure. No! Takarin gets it by the 2S counter! And ladies and gentlemen, we are on a match point! Takarin, man! Takarin feeling the heat! Very nice air to air right there from Takarin. Noticing that Renka was sticking to the air one wee too many bits. That means absolutely nothing what I just said, but anyways, you get you get my drip. Whoa, and the freaking check from Renka, man! Oh, he's up for the side switch again! 
Rinka doesn't have any birds. He does right now. Okay, air to air in favor of uh, Takarin gets the opening. Oh no, drop the freaking no! He dropped the actual bomba. Oh, you need to drop it. Oh, you need to drop it. You're going to pose, but gets it with the 2S counter it. Oh, oh, oh no, the jump it from Renka is going to be able to get Eddie out. Oh, what the hell was that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Takarin definitely noticing that he could match something here. That was probably a uh, execution error. And the block from Renka. The block is real. Rainwater. Rainwater, no. No. You've got the checks. You have to see it. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. Air Renka. No one home. So far away from home. And we're going with the opposed. But yeah, Takarin definitely taking a good notice of Renka, man. Using, making good use of the, uh, the opposed. Okay, still okay for Renka. He is on match point. He wants to get that kill. Oh, he got from the bikes. He gets the opening. Things are looking pretty bleak for Takarin, I'm not going to lie. It's still okay, he did manage to make a comeback. Previously, goes for the air grab. That was sick. Delayed overhead. Oh, and the block right there from uh, from Renka almost got... Oh! Oh, you want us to press a button? Let me press a button. Oh, that they force him up the burst. Oh, no, and he killed Eddie and the air to air in favor of Takarin, man. And we're back to the favorite spot of uh, Takarin, which is... Enemy back to the corner, he tries to go for a grab. Oh, Lord, the chode! Don't chode me, sir! Oh, yeah, this is really, really looking bad for him. And he goes for the instant freaking Dustin! And just like this, Renka sends Takarin in the losers. Renka is in on freaking fire today. This is crazy, man. Anyway, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Ziri versus Kohide. Ziri rocking that mean May on the mean May. Uh, stage right now, so let's see how this pans out. Koida definitely no stranger to May, so he should be able to get stuff going on. Here we go the entire from Zero goes for the tick, close pressure with the close S, jumps out of the corner, blocks that flip kick, and the freaking grab that came right after from Koida, but unfortunately gets opened up by the various mixes of Koida. Nice center right there from Koida, and the confirm is gonna get the wall break. Good lord. Here we go, the wall break. Oh, yeah. Xeri definitely fishing for them. A uh, jump in. No, and that jump in is here. Xeri with uh, the optimization station. He goes for the air to air. He's going to get the combo. And this is not going to kill, unfortunately. He could have gotten the overdrive and the hard knockdown, but probably didn't. He didn't expect the wall splat, but it's still okay with the jump out with the uh, HS gets him the kill, man. Very nicely done by Xeri. Xeri getting swept right there. Here we go with uh, the knockdown. And uh, Koid in prime position to apply pressure in the corner. He's gonna get the juggle off of the 2D counter hit. That being said, Xeri forced to pop the burst. Is out of the corner and did put Koida in it, incidentally. And here we go with the take pressure, man, from Xeri. And the blocks over from Koid and not getting hit. Oh, no! No, Xeri! You do not, you cannot do this. I am the be I have the best aerial option right there with the overdrive. Says Kohide gets it with the Nasante. He's gonna get the kill with the Roman cancel. Kaboom! And kaboom! Doesn't even need the wall break. Very nicely done by Kohide. Puts one round on the board. And on to the final round of this current match right here. Xiri uh, finding, um, well, getting first blood. That being said, oh, Kohide cornered himself. He goes for the wake-up golden birds. Gets the Nasante. Goes for the grab. Probably goes for a safe jump. Yep. Oh, Lord. And the ins and outs from Kohide with these uh, very, uh, very strange setup. I have, uh, I feel to understand exactly what uh, type of timing he's looking for. He goes straight for the overdrive. And he catches Xiri with the recovery of whatever move he was going on. And Xiri dying with this burst, unfortunately, here. But that being said, here we go. Koide up a 1-0. to zero. What is Xiri going to do? Still sticking with me. And on to the next battle. Here we go. Totsugiki instant block by Kohide. Finds the opening. Forcing Xiri to pop the burst. And Kohide going with a burst of his own. Oh, and the Totsugiki who? Oh, no. Oh, Kohide gets hit from his duty by the Totsugeki. And uh, Xiri going for a cross-up empty jump. 
gets the corner carry combo. He's gonna get the wall break. Not gonna kill, but close enough. Kohide gets scooped by the two. Uh, okay, from Xerix Xeri going for the post-mortem hit. Saying, I don't care. I do not care. Oh lord, and Kohide with the checks. And Tyrus Xeri. Okay, close pressure right there. Nice whiff on it from Kohide. Couldn't quite get the confirm though. Still gets the entire. And Xeri waking up with buttons, and rightfully so. Good lord. Oh, look, what is this? What are these combos? He catches Kohide with the back dash. Or he catches his back dash with the close S. Gets the oh, corner pressure and the corner combo for the kill. And Xeri, man, just putting one on the board as well. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. One uh, versus a one. A good stuff from Xeri. Back on track. Okie dokie, Bridget and Cookie. And uh, we are uh, back on the first round of this second match. Of this third match, actually. Kohide definitely not happy of, of what happened in the previous match. Goes for the wake up golden burst. He doesn't care. This man doesn't care. The golden boy. The golden boy Kohide. He gets scooped by the freaking air to encounter it. Good lord. 6P. Why? Why 6P and Xeri man fighting the opening? Goes for the wall break. And he gets the kill. Xeri taking the lead, man. And I remind, may I remind you, ladies and gentlemen, Xeri is the one to have sent you the best who is uh, arguably the best May player in Japan currently, has sent you to the loser's bracket. So Xeri definitely showing uh, off to a very strong start. Uh, currently actually taking the lead against Kohide, who is none other than probably one of the best, if not the best, uh, Giovanna player in Japan. Oh, Lord! And the freaking cannon drill counter it! Unfortunately, couldn't quite get anything off of it. And... Finally going to force Bob the burst. Wants to get out of the pressure. Goes for the Nasante, but Xeri not committing to any aerial attack. And it's the Totsu Geki Hell, but Kohide finding the opening. Goes for straight ducks. Oh, he goes for the low. Immediately cancels into the uh, Ventania for the kill. Not even your guts is going to save you, May. And here we go with the Kohide back on track. Puts one round on the board. Oh, Lord. Oh, finds the opening. Gets the knockdown. Goes for the Kinnon Drill. Okay, we'll get the entire yet again. The 6P cannon drill again, take pressure. Tries to catch that back dash from Ziri. Gets the counter hit on the 2D. Tried to uh, continue the pressure, but Ziri had enough time to get his uh, burst. That being said, is this gonna kill? No! Oh, he went with a reset! He went with the reset, and just like this, Kohida takes the lead 2 to 1. Definitely not over till it's over. It's rare to see Chinese players. Yeah, I know, right? I'm actually pretty happy, uh, Xiri, definitely a mounting star, not his first participation, I think it's his third. And he had actually, it's not the first upset he uh, made, I think he sent like, um, like uh, literally in the previous Brojo Cup, I think he sent like uh, either Mugi or, or another very strong player in the losers as well. So no, definitely not a, a fluke. Uh, I mean, uh, it might be a fluke once, but like right now twice, and you can see his performance right now against Kohide, and it's actually doing pretty good for him. And he gets the kill! He gets the kill with the perfect! Just as I say, this perfect against Giovanna, man. Well, against Kohide, not Giovanna, but yeah, good stuff from Niri, man. Definitely on point, gets the counter, it goes for the freaking Totsugeki, but Kohide on point with the 6 feet right in the um, block pressure of Niri, and he's going to make the burst! Nice burst, Niri! Kohide getting the wall break and the positive bonus! Oh lord, and that 6P, man. And the delayed Totsugeki to catch Kohide, trying to uh, to dash towards him. Uh oh, this is uh, not going to hit. Yeah, good stuff from Kohide. Nice patience, gonna get the kill. And Kohide is on a set point right now. Is he going to be able to shield the deal, or is Xiri going to commit another upset? So far, so good for Kohide. Guess the way punish right there. And here we go, the Totsugeki. Oh, Lord, the freaking dash out of the corner from Ziri. Finally out of the corner, trying to make something happen. But, oh, 6P yet again. Oh, no, and the Vitania, man. This guy is not afraid. Koide, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. No, you're not. Oh, he tried to whiff punish right there. The whiff punish, man, from Koide, definitely on point. And just to see, he was not able to do so because... <gasps> oh, no, nice burst, Koide. What you can do, I can do better. Look at your life. Look at your life disappearing in front of you. Again. Oh no, and he gets the freaking sweep and Xiri's still staying alive, man. Are we gonna see another upset? 
is there you gotta eliminate the, not eliminate but send you not only you to the losers bracket but Kohide as well the god killer is among us and it is not Leffen <laughs> no good stuff from Xeria man I'm gonna get knocked down though yeah Kohide did definitely say no I am not going to the losers bracket if you man and Xeria man oh he got the one to jump it forces Kohide to pop the burst Kohide getting the, the juggle forcing Xeria to pop the burst as well oh and uh, take pressure from Kohide almost got the wall break oh Ziri having that sweep good stuff from him he's gonna get the wall break definitely yeah this is wall break time for you boom but Kohida does have one bar of tension whereas Ziri does not oh touching kick time and oh lord no in the grab is this gonna be enough no it's not oh he goes for the quick does for the kill okay 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 Kohida not out of this yet he takes the lead one round it's not over till it's over so after round two to get you against standing age of course Tales of Zoldef time. Oh, then the 6 speed to catch that cannon drill this time around. Good. So I'm going to go in and reply with a 6 speed of his own to catch the Totsugeki. It is the battle of the torpedo, the battle of the human torpedoes right here. Oh, Lord. Oh, Totsugeki time gets scooped by the HS counter. It, man, you hate to see it. Oh, go in and smelling blood. Go in it. Go in it. No, blows, but in the sunny. He is going to take it with Ventania. But to be fair, to be fair, Xiri was really, really... Yeah, one of them, we will not be able to see their matches, but it, it is what it is, it is what it is. That being said, on to the next battle, it's going to be RF, one of the best Faust players in Japan currently against uh, Renka. So Renka, you have seen how freaking good he is. <laughs> he, if, he, if somebody can eliminate RF right now, it is probably him. That being said, here we go, the take of pressure in the corner. And he doesn't want to have to deal with Little Faust. <laughs> Unfortunately, ah, yeah, we got the bomb pressure. Renka was on uh, the verge of getting hit uh, by... Oh, Lord! By the bomb. Very nice block from Renka. Doesn't get hit by the overhead. Oh, no, the mix, mix, mix has been blocked, but it's okay. RF had uh, the Roman cancer to make it safe. And RF with the wall break using the mix, mix, mix. Oh, Lord! No, you will not advance, sir, and gets the kill with the uh, with the with the dive game. Very nicely done. Upsets tournament, exactly, man. Fun I know, right? Yeah, upsets are definitely welcome here because you get to see new faces. It's all. It's not very fun to always see the same uh, people win over and over again. So I'm all for upsets. I love upsets. Anyway, here we go. When to take pressure, the corner pressure from RF man going ham with the items. Trying to get rid of it, he gets the hit with the jumping S, I do believe it is. But Renka getting out of the corner, triggering Little Falls, getting hit by the bomb. <gasps> Woo! RF gets the kill with this burst safe setup and takes the first round quite convincingly, not going to lie. I do not know in which uh, side the uh, the Faust versus, uh, what's it called, Zato matchup goes, but... RF definitely making it seem like it goes in favor of Faust. And here we go again with uh, the Scarecrow side switch. You're making use of the Meteor 2 um, to uh, cross up uh, the opponent. Oh, and here we go with uh, the wig that was on fire. Couldn't quite get the juggle because not close to the corner enough. The bomb is going to explode. And here we go with Air Renka closing the distance between him and RF. Unfortunately, just triggering the... A burst from RF and RF getting the kill with a B fired wig once again. And on to the next battle is Renka going to uh, find a way to shift the momentum. Right now it is definitely going all in favor of RF. And here with the take pressure, man, and RF getting the wig. RF going and putting that wig on fire, trying to keep the corner positioning. Renka unfortunately gets it out of his summoning from of of um of eddie because of the wig exploding gets interrupted by wade but did get the trumpet in between rf checking that eddie advance right here goes for the overhead good lord me said the arrow oh no gets hit by the inviter hell eddie low profiling that spear attempt and rank ID making use of this opportunity to use the overdrive to keep eddie on screen he goes for a reset using the Command grab, Eddie back on track. Oh, and that wake up a bar from RF, man. Uh, the bomb is here. The bomb is real. Okay, good stuff from 
arrow using your bows from... Oh no! It saved my little mouse! Now you ain't to see it! But I think it's okay. No! Oh, I'm bringing it back thanks to Little Faust, the assist, man! He was on the verge of getting killed, but Little Faust just came out of nowhere! Protecting his little father. Not his little father, but Faust is anything but small. <laughs> Obviously. Wow, and that Toad Entire from Eru, from Renka. Very nicely done. Here we go with the jump in. Oh no, 6P right there from Renka. No 6P again, again with the freaking uh, the dive kick that has been working so good for him. Good lord! Oh no! Mini Faust, you get in! You you get me in! Mini Faust, you get in! <laughs> exactly! Yo, Tiger Pop, how you doing, bro? Oh good lord, and here we go with the Dick Patrick, man! He closes from more if he gets everything in the bug, he's going to get the uh... How do you call this attack? The overdrive! The knee killer! The knee killer! And and just like this RF up on set points. That went very, very freaking very very quickly. Anyways, here we go. Rinka trying to make a comeback. Goes for the empty low. Tries to abate the burst, but unfortunately, man, RF didn't have a burst at that time. That was really unfortunately. Yeah, RF is definitely on point, man. Well actually both players are on point, but RF just seems like completely unstoppable. It's crazy. Here we go with the jump in from Rinka trying to get something started, but Oh, he gets the Toad Entire again! Oh, he couldn't quite get a wall splat. He gets the YRC bait and RF going with the wall break. Not enough to kill. Oh, and the air to air in favor. Renka couldn't quite get the finishing blow. But that being said, yeah, or probably not getting chipped, but probably trying to jump out at that specific instant. Try, uh, thinking probably that, yeah. Oh, no! And the opposed to save the day. Renka, the opposed master. Renka refusing to go out without a fight. Oh, he gets the sweep. Forcing Arf to wake up with the golden burst. Oh, and the jump in and the knockdown, but there's the bomb. The bomb is here. The bomb is real. Yeah, Arf getting that mix, mix, mix. Gets the close S, probably wanting that burst. But yeah, Renka not committing to anything. Here we go with the, oh, the quick Roman cancel into the sweep. And the wind just right here. Oh, to catch Rinka off guard, Rinka forced to pop the YRC. Oh, and they're barring the jump in from Rinka. He is back on track. He tried to go for a cheeky empty low, but RF still on point. This might be it. Uh, Rinka definitely needs this one if he wants to stay alive. Stay in the winner's bracket. Ooh, and the spear. The spear. Him to cuddle. Oh, no! No Eddie for you, sir. No Eddie for you. Oh, good lord. He fished the summon exactly, literally. <laughs> Mini Faust is going. Well, yeah, he is, man. Mini Faust is definitely doing his job, protecting his father. Okay, and unfortunately, you has been eliminated from the tournament. Akihira as well, Roy as well, and Tsuboikun as well. So yes, uh, our top eight has currently been decided. If you want to see it uh, for your with your own eyes, just tap exclamation point followed by brackets in the chat and you will be sent to a link where you can see the bracket in full. That being said, here we are with uh, the uh, second uh, winner's semi-final match, Kohide versus Stella. The one who wins this one will make his way to the winner's final. So let's see who will be able to take it. So far, it's definitely looking in favor of Kohide, not going to lie. Kohide taking it with a perfect nevertheless, man. Holy freaking lord! Kohide on fire today as well. But uh, still also was uh, did manage to eliminate some pretty um, pretty strong players as well. Let me check his... Uh, yes! Still uh, managing to eliminate Roy. Eliminate uh, Akihira. So yeah, yeah no, uh, not Akihira. Uh, Yuka Pero and Amato as well. So yeah, definitely... Um, yeah, still also having quite the uh, the, the the hard bracket, uh, the hard bracket route. So yeah, definitely not out of the realm of possibilities for him to eliminate Kohide as well. Well, send him in the losers bracket, but we shall see. So far, so good. Look at the damage. Look at the damage, man. Good boom. Get out of here, sir. Oh, almost made it. DYRC and the kick flip currently blocked. Unfortunately. So he did just freak it. Oh no, cannot get the RC and the wake up of Barry from Sutera. I should be able to seal it. Yes, he is. Almost saved by the burst. Came a little bit too uh, too too late, unfortunately for Kohide. But so okay, he starts this round with burst, which is definitely welcome for him. 
And it's not getting opened by the 2S. Oh, and the wake up here, Loggy! You hate to see it. Wow, still not getting the 2H at those things, but gets scooped by the Nasante. And Quaidy getting the juggle, going for. Nope, not going for the Ventania. And on with uh, the pressure. Still up, up in the Golden Burst. Gets the 2HS. Here we go with max damage. Look at the damage. Look at the damage. Well, it's still okay, actually. It's not, it's not, too, it's not too much to write home about. But anyways, it was still welcome. Oh, no, he's running off on the freaking Elog. Oh, he got the Elog. Yeah, that was sick. That was so thick. Still, uh, this is going in the highlights, man. This was sick. Good stuff from still the double freaking Elog back to back. <laughs> Oh lord. Oh, you don't want me to Hilagi on your overdrive aerial overdrive? Okay, I'm just gonna roam and cancel casually here and drop another Hilagi there. That was sick, man. Good stuff from Stella, man. Anyways, here we go on to the second round. And the golden burst from Stella. This man is crazy. Go for the Hilagi yet again. Good lord. Instant. Freaking news on sin. Golden burst. Now Roman cancel. He goes for the cross up. This should be enough actually with Roman cancel extension. And still on fire today as well. That is crazy. Holy freaking lord. Good lord. Again on with the Abar from Stella. Gonna get the knockdown. He goes for the late Yo Zansen. But he'll co it with the backdash. Always catching your enemy on guard. Goes for the kickflip. Probably wary of the Hiragi now. He ate too, way too many Hiragis right now. Oh no, he, yeah, yeah. The Stella is not fucking around at all. And here we go with... Uh, the, oh, he got the burst. Nice burst. Oh, but he drops it. This is so unfortunate. You hate to sleep. Then the closest for the counter hit for the entire... I think Odia should be able to seal the deal. Go straight for the overdrive. This should uh, do. This is unfortunate for Stella dropping the uh, combo right there. The corner combo. Wouldn't have killed, but it wouldn't have uh, killed his momentum at least. We're going to start of the round for S. Kohide on point with the, uh, what's it called, the uh, whip punish. Nice grab from Kohide. Probably kickflip time. No, it's not kickflip time. Yes, you can see Kohide definitely wary of the Hiragi. Definitely wary of it. Okay, still out. Oh, Lord gets hit by. Yeah, this is gonna be it. Good stuff from Kohide. Puts one on the board actually pretty quickly as well. But it's still okay. Still uh, definitely not out of this yet. He had a very nice first round, unfortunately, drop. His combo, which could have uh, potentially led him to something more crispier, but it's still okay. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. That being said, on to the next battle. Very nice start of a round for Kohide. Already forces uh, Stella to pop the burst. We go with Kohide bringing Stella ever so slightly in the corner. Very nice. Confirm right there. Gets good by the two and chest. No, no. And the counter hit on the Troval, is it? I think it's a Troval. Or the Sepulter. No, Sepulter is the other one. Anyways, here we go with Kohide. Oh, Lord! Baiting that Hiragi, man, with that microsecond hesitation. It wasn't hesitation, but microsecond, like, uh, a pause of him. Oh, but gets hit by the S counter hit, man. Still not going with the save jump. Oh, good for the grab. It is mixed time, and he goes for another grab. This is gonna be, yes, Yozvan sent. You have to hold it again with the Kabari, and he's gonna get the juggle drops in now, but it's still okay. Kabari here to save the day. Good stuff from Stilla. Both, there is perfect equality right now. One match, one round apiece. What is gonna happen? I say equality, but that's not English, actually. That is French. We would say a tie in English, I suppose. But, anyways, here we go with Goheed and the wall break. Good lord! Here with the positive bonus and the instant block from Sitella like gets hit by the game flip. And Kohide getting the confirm using the RC. And the late oh the late Tatami guy she to catch Kohide trying to to do something sneaky. Ooh Lord. Oh no, and then Asante. Almost got the Oh he got this! Yeah, he's gonna get the kill with the grab. Good stuff from Kohide taking the lead. Kaboom with the wall break. Good stuff from Kohide. Up 2-1. to one. What is going to be uh, the response from Satella? Is he going to... Uh, yeah, is he going to uh, show us his adaptation skills? Or is he going to be sent to the loser's bracket? We shall see. 1-2-3. That doesn't mean anything, but who cares? Anyway, here we go with the trades. Trading left and right. Uh, yep. Just one second, got it. Okay, we're good, and oh lord, 
Going to go with the wall break using even Tanya for added damage and also a uh, hard knockdown. He gets the kill with the 2D. Just in case uh, Stella wanted to wake up with Hiragi, at least he would not have gone, been hit by it. That being said, here we go back to the matches. They're not going to make a comeback. Unfortunately, he gets crushed under by Kohide. And look at the damage, actually. Holy free, little Depp did a heck ton of damage. Oh, Lord! Kohide with getting grabbed by Stella. Stella going for a front. No, and the wake up Golden Burst. Oh, Kohide did the Golden Boy. One more. Could be enough, but there's Burst. Oh, and he made the Burst! Kohide the Mind Reader! Kohide the Mind Reader! Just like this, Kohide is. <laughs> he definitely is the best in Japan. So here we go. On to the next battle. Takarin versus Mochi. Winner of Arc Revo. Mankind knew that they could not change society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blame uh, the gist. And here we go with the actual. All in on Mochi. Ah, uh, we don't know, we don't know. I could definitely go either way. I would definitely not count um, Takani out of it. Definitely not. That being said, both players are extremely strong with their respective player. It could definitely go either way. And on to the first match of this loser's bracket. This is the top 8, by the way. Lady in the Moon, the two previous matches and the two next one are the current top 8 of this tournament, which is currently composed of... Uh, so RF, Lenka, Kohide, Sutera, and then Takarin, Mochi, Kiwai, and Guziri. So this is our top 8. I hope you have a very nice time right now, ladies and gentlemen, because uh, right now we are getting in the gist of this journey. And just as I say, this Takarin is out of burst, but still has enough life to endure whatever Mochi is trying to throw at him, except the DP. <laughs> And here we go with the corner pressure from Mochi. Gets hit by the jumping HS right there from Takarin. Takarin out of the corner. Definitely in prime position of getting... Oh, no, no, the run-up wall throw from Mochi. Are you freaking kidding me? That was... Oh, the cojones on this man. Good lord, man. Here we go with the jump, the, the bandit bringer. Again, again, Mochi with the bandit bringer. Trying to get that sweet, sweet knockdown, and he's definitely gonna get it right here with the hard knockdown. Goes for the yeah, oh, very nice blocks right there from Takarin, definitely on point. It was either a overhead or a low, and it's very hard to react to it. It's actually impossible. You have to, um, then you have to option select it, and even so, you cannot like uh, not get hit by the <laughs> by the uh, uh, the potential wild throw that comes after. But that being said, here we go back to the match and Takarin. Oh, trying to get that sweet sweet knockdown he definitely did not like that run up wild throw man but it's still okay. here we go with takarin oh gets the knockdown goes for the rainwater and goes for a roman cancel definitely wary of mochi trying to throw that dp but takarin does get the kill with the aerial grab oh it gets the forest counter hit again with the forest counter hit this time around can confirm into of the snail for the hard knockdown for the knockdown again back to the neutral mochi with the six hs count of the six hs knockdown and the checks right there from takarin man prevented mochi from really just really trying to make his way towards takarin and the air to are in favor of takarin unfortunately he drops it this is very unfortunate that being said oh the wake up golden burst and mochi smelling blood man goes for the grab Corner pressure and again, man. Oh, and he's gonna get the kill with Tyrant Ray. Oh, Lord. Mochi puts one on the board. One to zero for now. Let's not discount, uh, uh, disregard Takani. Takani, very strong Axel player. Definitely has made quite a number of comebacks in previous iteration of the Rojo Cup. It is not out of the realm a possibility for him to do so against a player of the caliber of Mochi as well. Here we go with the tick, speaking of which, here we go with the tick throw from Takarin trying to open Mochi up, but Mochi the rock, man, very hard to do so. Very nice to HS counter hit. Gonna get the knockdown with the newly added buffs of Takarin, of Takarin, <laughs> yes, of Takarin, exactly, of Axel. Here we go with the Axel loop in the corner. Mochi's life hanging by a thread. Yes, the 6P, you love to see it. 
And you're going to take pressure from Mochi trying to get that opening. Gets the grab. And again, with the little back, the micro walk back into the 6P has definitely been catching people left and right. Very nicely done by Mochi. Uh, that being said, Takai does have the lead currently. Will get the knockdown. And on back to the neutral. No entire. Oh, Lord, that was an unfortunate dust. But Mochi probably a little bit bewildered by what happened right there. Wasn't really expecting it and didn't really prepare for a punish for it. That being said, he is going to get the wall break with Iron Ray. Gonna get the wall break into our knockdown. And it's guessing time. And Takarin gets thrown. Good stuff by Mochi. Gonna get the second round of this match. So we have a uh, tie currently, well, a, a tie when it comes to a uh, round, that is. But Mochi does have the uh, life lead and uh, not the life lead, but the, uh, the match lead currently. Since he, has, he is up 1-2-0. So yeah, Tagarin definitely needs this one if he wants to stay alive. And Mochi just running straight for not afraid, man. Okay, Tagarin this time around checking if Mochi is going to attempt a cheeky run towards him or not. And again, man, with the 2 HS, the 2S man. Oh, no! Takarin getting the grab, tries to go for a, a, a quick dust, but Mochi didn't bite. But man, Takarin with the freaking confirms, man. Nice juggles right there from Takarin. On the verge of taking this one, and freaking Mochi going for the wild throw. It is not over till it's over. Mochi getting the 2S counter hit. Goes for a DP, but that being said, look at the resources of Takarin. If Mochi makes it, I'm gonna be really impressed. It's not impossible. Rainwater and the DP! Mochi catching now the back dash and he's gonna get it! He's gonna get the kill, man! Catching that back dash with the 2S and I completely capped. I completely lied. Me saying I'm going to be impressed. I'm not even impressed because I feel like I, 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 in the back of my mind, I kind of felt like, yeah, Mochi was gonna do something like this. Mochi getting the 6 HS counter hit. Goes for the. Um, I always call the um, the Fafnir. Oh lord! Okay, no uh, punish on the follow up of the revolver, but uh, yeah, definitely Takarin catching Mochi. Oh lord, Mochi trying to go for the burst bait, but yeah, Takani not biting and rightfully so. Finally, Takani popping the burst. Finally forced to do so because it might have spilled death and Mochi with the confirm. Oh lordy, he gets the kill right uh, once again with the micro walk back into the 6, the 4S. It's been doing wonders for him, but not just during this tournament, but uh, during other, uh, other tournaments uh, in which Mochi participated. He's been using this tech a lot, just walk backwards just a bit, making think, making your opponent think that like you're gonna let him like jump out of the corner or anything and catch his jumping frames or whatever button he tried to press with a D4S. It's been working a lot and I recommend every single software to do so. It's a very strong tech. A very easy one by the way, but a very strong one. But that being said, back to the game and Takarin trying to zone with the Lensen, um, Lensen Geki. Mochi Air, Mochi with the freaking revolver man and Takain should be able to take it with the axle bomber loop using the RC for guaranteed uh, juggle potential that being said Mochi straight up with the 2k 2d knockdown trying to get Takain to oh press a button and does so look at the damage look at the damage what happened to your life are you trying to go for the wild throw and he's gonna get the kill no he dropped it, but still okay. Oh, Takarin not out of this yet. Not out of the woods, though. But yeah, definitely, he does have a little bit of resource. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. Oh, no. Look. Yeah, Mochi trying to find the opening. Trying to find the opening. Lensen Geki for you. No, and the 2H just got it. Uh, Takarin yeah, going for the Axel Bomber loop. Gonna get another one. And he goes for the Rainwater. Not afraid to press button even though he got an entire so many times doing so. Oh no! No! Oh no! And he got the golden burst baited and just like this, Mochi taking it up today. Let's see how this spins out. TY versus Xiri. Ooh, and Xiri, sorry, I am going to change your uh your beautiful flag. Which is not Japan, it is actually China. Let me change it right away. I know some people can get offended by not having their the correct uh, the correct flag displayed, so I'm definitely uh, going to not 
uh, do anything wrong at that level. That being said, back to the uh, back to the the match and Ty making his way out of the corner and bringing Ziri into it. Oh, and freaking is the Dota Geki with the duty counter. It unfortunately drops the combo, but goes for a grab, and this should do. First round goes to Ty. Very nicely done. On to the second match. Who is going to take it? We shall see. Is Xiri gonna bring the necessary adjustments? This is the second. This is, by the way, this is the second Giovanna that Xiri has to eat today. The first being Kohide, who sent him into the loser. So yeah, he probably has this feel of of, of Giovanna players today. <laughs> that being said, oh lord, and this is definitely looking very good for Xiri. Look at the damage. Good lord. And on to uh, the. Uh, rest of this match very nice confirm from ty gonna bring ziri in the corner goes for a take throw gonna get the knockdown and here we go with the simple to uh, counter it this did a lot of damage and to directly give Antania for a guaranteed hard knockdown here we go with the safe jump ty trying to get oh the hit in but Oh, look! Oh, very nice, quick Roman cancel right there from Xeri. Managed to seal the deal. Nice awareness from Xeri just in case TY wanted to pop the burst in panic. But TY, very nice patient from him. Oh, Lord. With the 2D, again with the Totsukiki trades in favor of TY. Gonna get the knockdown. TY going for the safe jump and almost got the opening, but couldn't quite confirm off of it. Here we go with oh and the overhead. You ain't did see it. Okay, T Y first forced to pop the burst. No, no punish on the uh the what's it called the cannon drill. Oh lord, oh yeah, did see it. Oh, it's so oh the Totsugeki farm, the farm, the Totsugeki storm. Why did I say the farm? And T Y should take it with the Ventania. Good first. Oh, actually not. Guts, man, guts! You like my guts? Oh, and gets hit by the uh, delay by whiff punish. Good stuff. Farm Ty takes the first match, rather uh, hard and well difficult. Uh, it's not not as easy as what people might think. Good stuff from Zeri gets the knockdown. Tries to get the jump in, but Ty moving all over the place doesn't let him do so. Here we go, the surprise Totsugeki. Oh. Lord, jump in. Totsugeki almost got the, the, the knockdown, unfortunately, for him, TY. But it, it's kind of hard to to um to confirm this. Anyways, that being said, TY bringing Ziri in the corner. Gives a simple to Ryan. Oh, gives a simple to Ryan once again. And here we go with Ziri. Oh, no. TY recognizing that Ziri is going to go for... Uh, the uh, the S version of the Totsugeki. Okay, and again, Totsugeki, man, the Totsugeki storm is real. Oh, counter it, Totsugeki into wild kiss overhead. Overhead kiss. Overhead, overhead wild kiss. What the hell is that? I do not know. Oh, no, and the whip punish on the sweep attempt from Ziri. Very nice grab from Ziri. Should be able to get the kill. Uh... Ty probably go. I don't know what he went for, but he firstly got uh, grabbed out of his offense. He does get the air-to-air -air counter hit though. Here we go with the wall corner uh, with the corner pressure and the corner wall break. Got to get the uh, the positive bonus. Very nice sweep yet again from Zero. Definitely working in his favor. And on with the Totsugeki and the jump in. Fortunately for Ty, it was a trade. Or else it would have spelled a lot of damage for Xiri. Totsugeki catching the backdash, trying to go for the sweep. But TY man staying very strong. Gets opened up by the closest counter hit. Oh, and Xiri actually dropping. Okay, TY not going for. Oh, no! TY going for the fuzzy overdrive. Good stuff from TY. Okay, puts another one on the board. We have perfect tie right now. One round apiece. Oh, King Theory Man with the su against the suffocating pressure of TY forced to pop the burst. Here we go to jump in. Oh, catches the back dash with the closest. Oh, Lord gets opened up with the 6p counter hit. Again with the throw, TY gets uh, the initiative. Trying to open Zero up, get that sweet, sweet killing combo. And freaking Theory just running all over the place. Will get the knockdown though. Tries to bait up uh, the, uh, the overdrive, I think. 
Oh, and he gets the jump, and this is gonna do a lot of damage. It's not gonna kill. Oh man, and the forward freaking dash into the trap. Is not gonna kill. Oh no, and Xiri getting the confirm. He should be able to seal it. Good stuff, Xiri, man. Not out of this yet. Puts one on the board, one match apiece, ladies and gentlemen. We have a perfect tie. Okay, and on to the next battle. What is gonna happen? What is gonna happen? Okay, Xiri getting the knockdown. Definitely noticing the TY backdashes a little bit, a wee bit too much. Here goes the uh, Totsugeku. Oh, get TY man with the tank pressure. Gets the knockdown with the Trovao. Uh, with the Sepultura. And again with the Totsugeki counter. It forces what well, TY to pop the burst. TY wanting to keep that corner positioning. Goes for the grab. He wants that burst. He wants it so bad. Gets the grab yet again for the cross up. Oh lord, and the Sepultura counter it. Uh, the Sepultura Roman canceled into the Ventania. Not gonna kill. Thank you for Ration. And thank you guys. With the jump in. And again with the dash from TY catches. Uh, Xiri standing. Gonna get the first round of this third match. We go with the Totsugeki and the 6P connects. Forces Xiri to pop the burst. We go with the trade in favor of uh, TY. Gonna get the uh, counter hit with uh, the standing S. Immediately converts into the Venta the, the, the Nasante. And here we go. And the Totsugeki yet again. Xiri getting the corner positioning. Goes for the vertical. Iruka-san. He's gonna get the... Oh, yeah. The side switch. Good stuff from Xiri. <clears throat> what is gonna be the rest of this match? What is I gonna do? Goes for the jump in, goes for the throw immediately, and again with the fuzzy overdrive. This has been catching people a lot up and goes for the RC. The Roman cancel for added damage and uh, secured this third match of his. Good stuff from TY on the verge of sending Xiri out of this tournament. Is he gonna do so or is Xiri gonna do another upset? We shall see. We'll go to close S. And your Bari from Xiri wanting to get out of the corner. Wake up, Abari. I can do, you can do better. Oh, Lord. Xiri forced to pop the burst. Go to Totsugeki. Totsugeki storm again, Totsugeki. But TY on point with his checks. This time around doesn't go for a uh, fuzzy overdrive. Might go there. Yes, he goes. <laughs> oh, Lord. What was that? That was sick, man. He didn't even go for the overdrive just in case. That was sick. Okay, and on to the next battle. Nice sweep from Xiri catches TY off guard, but TY man with the recognition station. Wow, get the HS counter it, man. The, the, the HS wall bounce. Again with the HS, HS man. Definitely doing wonders right here. We go the Ali Sagawa san trying to pin TY on. Uh, right where he's standing. No entire. Here go Tetsugeki. TY getting the grab. Is this gonna be it? Oh man, and TY man forcing the burst to, from Ziri. Ziri, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? So to get key. Oh no, jump it, but it's okay. Ziri not out of it yet. Goes for the overhead kiss. He's gonna get a corner combo. Not enough to do anything really. Well, it's it's close enough, close enough. Let's see one more hit for both. And he's gonna get the oh no forcing to pop the burst now oh, and the jump and he misses it and gets grabbed and just like this uh, the T Y eliminate Xiri three Stella versus Mochi Mochi rocking soul as expected thank you very much for the follow guys on in welcome to the Burgos okay so Sutela uh, yeah definitely but who sent to didn't Stella send Mochi to the loser no 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 he didn't. Who sent? Oh, R sent Mochi to the losers, actually. Yeah, this is the first time they play together in this tournament. Yeah, let's see how this pans out. They both letting uh, this intro rock. Biken. Otano Mimos. Otano Mimos. Good lord. Biken, crowd favorites. Well, maybe not so much in, in Survive, that is. <laughs> I don't know if people like the character or they don't like her Unga Bunga side anymore. I really don't know. Anyways, that being said, Mochi, everybody loves him. Sutela, everybody loves him as well. I love them both. And we are on the third loser's match bracket of the evening. Mochi getting that sweet, sweet forest. 
Uh, hit to catch the back that from Stella. Oh, get that again, man, with that backwards, man. Backwards standing S. It's brackets, not S. You just need to get rid of the S or. And you're going to jump in from Mochi. Gonna get that RC extension combo. He's gonna get the wall break. Kaboom! Mochi in prime position to take this first round. Oh, and he goes for the grab. Good stuff for uh, Mochi, knowing that Sela was waiting for that RC combo, uh, that RC, uh, that Roman cancel setup. Actually, you need more S. Definitely, man, definitely. <laughs> no S! No S! Let me write it for you guys. I know you, you made it, you made it like uh, on purpose, don't worry. I know it. It's no S! Anyways, here we go with, oh, and the DP in the block strings from Mochi. He loves it. Gets it by the Hiragi, though, and this is going to do a lot of damage. Look at this. Look at this. Hiragi pressure. He tries to go for the Kabari, but a little bit too far to get anything going. Ah, Mochi getting that sweet, sweet burst bait. You hate to see it. He's going to get the wall break into the Tyrant Rave. Here we go. What is going to be the mix? Goes for the gunflame just not to get hit by Hiragi. And forces uh, Stella to actually pop the RC. You go with the Kabari. Oh no, Stella trying to be a little bit too greedy. Uh oh. Oh no, he gets killed by the standing P. Stella, man, taking one round off of Mochi. Good stuff. Let's see if he can actually manage to take it, to take the hold. Go to Takatami Gaichi, man. And the instant blocks are real, man. They Oh, Lord. Mochi with the awareness. Ah, he's gonna get the juggle. Goes for low. Oh, this time around goes for grab. Here we go, no Hiragi for you. Okay, and this time around goes for the mix-up, and this should be enough, yeah. Good stuff from Mochi. Takes it with the Volcanic Viper. Takes the first match. 1 to 0. Is still going to make a comeback? We shall see. Yo, Marisa, how you doing? Was hearing you cast the three? Yeah, I did. I did. Uh, for another tournament that was actually organized by Mochi. The name of the tournament was Mugen, uh, Mugen Taikai, I think. Mugen something. And uh, you can see the tournament on Mochi's channel, actually, his YouTube channel. And yeah, it was really, really awesome. I really, really liked it. I hope I didn't. Um, I, th I hope I wasn't too loud, though. <laughs> Because I know I can get very, very loud, especially when I have a mic in front of me. So hopefully I didn't, uh, yeah, I didn't bother the viewers so much. But yeah, it was super fun. I had a blast. And thank you very much for Mochi for giving me this opportunity as well. Well, not that he can hear me right now since he's in the middle of a bout against Stella. But anyways, that was really awesome. And still actually taking this first round, man. The first round of the second match. Let's see if we can uh, continue and seal the deal. We shall see. And Mochi, man, not afraid to press buttons exactly when he needs it. Gets hit by the Hilagi, though, and gets scooped by the Twitches, and also gets his, uh, his, what's it called? His burst of baited, you hate to see it. Thank you very much for the follow, Rato, and welcome to the Brojos. Okay, and on uh, to the next battle. Stella trying to get out of this pressure, man, but unfortunately got the Hilagi baited by Mochi and punished accordingly. No Tyrant Rave. Mochi probably wanted to keep that, um... Oh, yeah, this is gonna be death right there. Oh, wait, no, it's okay, it's okay, yeah. So I'm probably holding on to the burst for the next round, just in case. Get on to the next battle. We're gonna jump in. No, Mochi with the 6P, man. You will not jump on me. I hate it. I refuse. You shall not do this. And Mochi with DDP in the block strings, man. You cannot test this, man. We're gonna Tatami Gaishi again, man. With the blocks, gets that burst, man. What are you supposed to do? He's gonna get the drone. This should kill. This is definitely gonna kill, man. Kaboom. Man, Mochi with the damage output. Okay, Mochi taking currently the lead. The lead 2 to 0. What is still gonna do? What is he gonna do? Okay, we are straight back in. In the battle. Mochi in prime position to taking that match as well. Already forces to have to pop the burst. We go to 6H, uh, the 6S. Oh no! And still a baby, the burst! Here we go to Kabari. And man, Mochi with the awareness goes straight with the standing K. He's gonna get a lot of damage right there. 
Oh, still are definitely looking lost, but there's so many strategies that Mochi is currently implementing to deal with the pressure of bike and not only the instant blocks on the Tatami Gaishi, but also uh, like not noticing the distance between the Kabari and uh, using the standing K to punish uh, the attempt of Stella to go with the with the follow-up Kabari. And yeah, there's so much awareness from him overall. And just as I say, this Mochi already on set point. Is he going to be able to seal the deal? Stella definitely cutting some legs right here. Again with the, is the 2 HS man definitely making wonders for him. Of course for the Kabari. Uh, no entire, with that being said, yeah, no entire possible right here. And here we go with the jump in and Mochi definitely smelling blood. Oh, baits that Kabari. Goes for the double overhead. Goes for the tick pressure. Tick pressure again with the closest. Again with the closest. What are you gonna do? Oh, Lord. And that air to air grabbed the Tim from Mochi, but still actually managed to take it. That's the most surprising part. I would have definitely got a scoop. But still not out of it yet. Goes straight for the overdrive. This should be able to kill. Good stuff. Still not out of it yet. At least wants to take one. Let's see how this spins out. Good lord, and the freaking far age counter. Okay, we're good. The checks from Stella and Mochi not afraid to pop that DP right in the block string yet again, man. On point, man. Ah, uh, this time around Stella with the grab. Gonna get an optimal combo. No, it drops it. Why, why, why? But it's still okay. He gets a reset. It's still better than nothing. Oh, again, Mochi with the 6 and it goes for the wild throw. Oh, no, this time around, the DP has been baited. Very nice side switch from South should be able to take it. And just like this, Stella finally puts one on the board. One and two. Is this the start of a comeback, ladies and gentlemen? Is Stella going to cause yet another upset to today's Brojo Cup tournament? We shall see. Start of the round, though, Mochi with 6P manages to hit Stella out of his standing as far as okay here we go with the optimization station mochi going for the cross up man do you ever see any soul using this type of thing and here we go the volcanic viper mochi going for oh lord went for the free i, I can call this a shimmy i think he tried to make it think to Stella that he was going to grab him and go straight for a bandit bringer and Hits him on his way down. That was really, really well done. Here we go with the grab. Stella definitely looking a little bit lost right now. Not going to lie. Again with the grab, man. The tag. This is so impressive, man. From both Stella and Mochi. Ah, uh, but this should... Nah, it's not going to be it, but... Ah, Mochi trying to go for the empty low. But Stella aware. Ah, uh, Stella going for the double back dash. Oh, and the kill for Mochi with the... On the ground. Welcome to the Brown Rose. I think you're for the Super Saiyan buff as well. Okay, and we can see TY who is going to rock Giovanna this time around. Let's see if he uh, this will pan out and work in his um, in his advantage or not. We shall see it sooner rather than later. That being said, here we go with Renka with the back dash, getting them knocked down. Okay, no entire right there for America. Instead, he gets air to air counter hit by TY. Still holding on strongly to his burst. Oh, Lord. Gets hit by the simple Tira. TY going with the grabs. Try to... Oh, Lord. Yeah, the pressure is so weird. Oh, no. Jumping already. Ah, and TY baiting that. Take attempt. Manages to take the first round extremely convincingly. See how this spins out. And very nice to S counter. It couldn't quite get anything off of it, unfortunately. And here we go with the opening from Renka. Gonna, uh, yeah, gonna get the wall break. Go straight for the overdrive for uh, added pressure. He's gonna get Eddie at the start of this. Yeah, this round goes for the spikes. Gets Eddie to open TY up. And Renka with uh, the overdrive yet again. See how this spins out. Goes for the toad this time around. He goes for the quick dust. TY with the blocks and Renka with the grabs. Good stuff, man. Renka actually taking one round. Good stuff. Let's see if this can continue. Very nice 6P right here from Renka. But TY, man, double dashing and grabbing Renka's ass, man. Good stuff. Oh, look. Okay, nice. Oh. Okay, finally TY getting the juggle. He's going to get the corner pressure. Renka waking up with the golden burst. The golden boy. Taking a page out of uh, Giovanna, uh, out of uh, T.Y., not T.Y., 
out of Kohide's book. Go straight for the overdrive to get Eddie back as, as soon as possible. Yeah, ah, you can see Renka trying to fish for that YRC. Ah, oh, Lord. Eh, oh, very nice jump out from Renka. Finally getting little Eddie back. Oh, nice drop it to go for grab, but no, unfortunately, T.Y. was out of it. No 6P right there. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, it's not over till it's over. Very nice to bar right there for Amarank. I'm gonna get the... I, oh, he almost got the knockdown. No, it's still okay. He's got some Eddie. Oh, I tried to go for the... Uh, the grab the command grab off of a pose. Oh, that was so close. Yeah, you can feel T.Y. getting a little bit angsty. Yeah, he definitely wants to get as close to Renka as possible, but Renka doing a good job! Yo! Yo! Renka with the oppose on the freaking... on the cannon drill and not only gets the burst, but gets the punish on the burst and the kill. That was sick, Renka. Good stuff, man. Come on, Renka, let's go! Holy freaking lord! Okay, here we go with the spikes. Renka definitely looking good, man. If he can eliminate TY, that would be sick, man. Okay, here we go with the jump in. Renka definitely looking good. For the, oh, invite to hell. Gets grabbed by TY. TY going for the cross up. Unfortunately, doesn't get a D conversion. Oh, and the take pressure from TY is going to take this one with the RC after the throw. Good stuff from TY. TY definitely not out of it. That was sick, man, though. Good lord. We get on to the second. Uh, oh, lord. No entire. Renka sweep. Exactly. Oh, here we go with... Oh, little lady! Unfortunately, Zato got uh, scooped right here. We go invite hell. This time, Eddie was out to protect his uh, daddy. It's not his daddy, actually. But anyways, let's go. Oh, and the grab, man, from Renka, man. Okay. What is the plan of TY? TY definitely struggling to get in right now. Okay, finally gets a knockdown with a simple true out. Renka trying to read a grab, but yeah, TY wasn't going for it uh the tick pressure man oh and that bag that from ranka and he should get the kill yes he does two hs for the kill good stuff man ranka not out of this yet and on the verge of getting his burst by the way so things are looking pretty good for him ah i guess it by the simple tirado yeah to see and gets hit by the closest oh can ranka going man uh for the delayed spikes almost got the freaking knockdown Wow, and the trade on the 2D, man. Oh, he goes for the dust. T.Y. holding on to his burst. Oh, and the double dash into the grab. T.Y.'s favorite. Who tried to go for a, a fuzzy overdrive. Okay, this time around, T.Y. Man, manages to jump on Eddie and get rid of him. It's not over till it's over. Ah, T.Y. going. No, oh, they didn't get firm. And he gets grabbed out of it. You hate to see it. Oh, and here with the low. T.Y., man, with the freaking change of rhythm in his offense right now. It's definitely throwing Ringo off. That was crazy, man. Safe from the fuzzy. Yeah. I think, he, yeah, if you use, you have to use, I guess you have to use, uh, you have to use FD not to get a fuzzy at that, that particular instance, I guess. Because, yeah, Rinka has definitely been using uh, Buffalo's defense not to get uh, not to get uh, hit by the fuzzy of the overdrive. Okay, and here we go with the pressure from Rinka going for RC cancel. Here we go, the Toad is out. The Toad is on fire. Oh, nice punish on the freaking cannon drill attempt. That being said, yeah, things are looking pretty good for Rinka. Gets the grab and the kill with the follow-up Toad. Renka, man. Renka on point, man. Holy freaking lord. It's not over till it's over, though. We are talking about TY, one of the best Yovana player in the world, if not the best. But Renka, man. Holy freaking lord. On point as well. Renka with the grab. You get the corner pressure. Goes for the low. And goes for Among Us. Among Us. Okay. What is the mix? Renka with the mix. Renka with the mix. No entire air. Renka, you had it. Renka getting grabbed. And it goes for the cross up again. She went with the grab. Okay, this time on YRC. That goes for the grab. And freaking Renka on. Taking the lead 2 to 1. Holy crap. It's not over, man. It's not over till it's over. Good lord. Renka playing out of his mind today. He's really insane today. What the hell is going on? 
Yeah, that being said, we're gonna jump in and the just, the just, oppo the just oppo the just block from Renka. Unfortunate trade right there for Renka because that made it so that Tiwa was able to get rid of Eddie. I almost got the juggle, but yeah. Oh, Tiwa man with the tick pressure. Ah, very nice for Kate. TY with the pressure, very nice Abare right there from Renka. Tried to go for the side switch, pushed a little bit too far. Will get the Roman cancel into added pressure. Gonna get the juggle and gonna get the wall break. Yes. If he gets this one, it's match point, guys. If he gets this one, it's match point. And here we go with the quick dust, but yeah. Invite hell. Oh, look. You have to hold it. You have to hold it. Oh, no, TY having to hold it. T.Y. No, and T.Y. Man, the worst he has been baited. Rank out match point on the verge of eliminating T.Y. That would be a huge upset. Good lord, are you serious? Okay, we will go to grab. It's not over till it's over. Okay, T.Y. gets the simple Tira juggle. T.Y. definitely not out of this yet. Oh, and the back dash. Good idea from Renka, but not quite enough. That being said, Okay. Oh, the toad connected. And Renka going straight for the overdrive. Oh, you can bet your ass this time around. Renka is not gonna. Uh, Ty is not gonna go for a wire seat. Nice blocks. And gets it by the simple throw. Yeah, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have. Uh, I wouldn't have. Uh, what's it called? A uh, bursted at that spot, specific spot either. Good stuff from Renka, keeping his burst for the for this round. Nice, just block. And the Abare. Nice. Oh, nice blocks, man. Renka staying alive. Ooh, catching the back dash of, of T.Y. Uh, the corner pressure is real, man. Very nice grab from T.Y. Going for the grab again. Giovanna is a grappler. Ah, that was... Yeah, that was a... Uh, I don't agree with... Oh, no, he goes for the side lift. Okay, he's gonna get the, the the knockdown. No, it doesn't catch it. Oh lord! Oh, that was so cheeky. Good stuff from Ty. Managed to bait the burst and get the kill. Ty not out of this yet. Two to two. We have perfect tie, ladies and gentlemen. Who is going to take this very 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 hard match? We shall see. Okay, and here we go. With the Abare from Ah uh, Renka gets hit by the Sepultura. Oh, nice XP. Couldn't quite get anything off of it. Who <gasps> gets the freaking burst, mate? And he gets the... Oh, did he juggle? Yes, he did. Renka going for a monk. No, with the normal overdrive. Wow, Renka got the burst, though. Okay, catches. Oh, no. This should do. This should do Among Us. Kaboom. Renka on the verge of eliminating T.Y. Oh lord, what is gonna happen? What is gonna happen? What is gonna happen? Very nice hit. No, that air grab was sick. Oh, and the tilt to catch T.Y. out of the air. Rank on the verge, bro. On the verge. Oh, he catches the... Oh lord! Is this gonna be enough? No, it's not. Oh no, he drops it, but it's still okay. It works in his favor. And rank eliminates T.Y. Holy freaking lord, the upset is... This is Kohide. Let's see how this spins out. Oh, oh, I'm so happy. Good lord, so many great matches we have today. Okay, and speaking of which, we are about to get a very, very good one as well. RF versus Kohide needs to have fought each other so many times during the Brojo Cup. I, I cannot count it exactly how many times, but they fought each other so many times that, like, they know each other's pattern so well. It's going to be a very entertaining match to see. Very nice knockdown right there from RF. Goes for the tick pressure using the added pressure from the hammer. Going for the RC, the uh, the dust, the quick dust into Roman cancel for the wall break. Yeah. RF with the positive bonus. Neutral is reset. Probably trying to react to the dashes from Koide, which is very strong. And here we go. It's Koide going for the fuzzies, man. Going straight for Ventania for guaranteed hard knockdown. RF does have two bars of tension, though. Oh, he goes for the cake flip. And again, Koide should... Nah, it's not gonna kill, is it? Is it? Nah, it's not. 
cohesive with the positive bonus, but that being said, Orb does have two bars of tension. Goes for the quick dust yet again. He won't be able to get a hard break, uh, hard break, a wall break, but he does have the wig, which is a very, very good for him. And he should be able to take it, but now saved by the burst. Kohide believing in it. The American burst. The American comeback. Oh, now it gets scooped by the standing P from RF. Nice awareness from RF. Not overcommitting and just getting clean kill and also the burst from Kohide. So he couldn't ask for more than that. Nice with punish though from Kohide. Little Faust is out. Is he going to save his father the same way he did in the previous match? We shall see. Nice stick pressure. Uh, nice bar from RF getting the knockdown goes for the wig. Yay! It's barber time. No, the wig is on fire. We don't need no water. Let that crazy Faust freaking mix. And RF going into the overdrive is gonna get a guaranteed R knockdown. <laughs> that face though. Good stuff from RF. What is the mix? Goes for the safe jump. And the tick pressure is real. And no, no, he couldn't quite get the mix, mix, mix. But goes for the quick dust for the kill. RF taking the lead 1-0. to This is the first. Uh, this is obviously the first match. So Koide has all of the time in the world to adapt to well, at least two more additional matches. Nice confirm right there from Koide. Failed to get the juggle though. Okay, now you got the Lucana. We can see the trumpet and the banana. Koide probably... Yeah, for Koide going for the trumpet. The cheeky little man. Oh, Lord. Couldn't quite get the uh, a clean wall spot, though. Ah. Got scooped by the latter part of the mix, 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 though. There go. No room and cancel on that. Nasante from uh, Koide again. Or with uh, the, the the quick dust. Room and cancel for uh, the wall break. Again, the jumping is real. Oh, Lord RF again with the freaking gold burst bait. Couldn't quite get uh, the punish though, which is unfortunate. But here we go with RF. Knowing the the spacing from the overdrive, knowing that it, it if it hits a little bit too low on the ground, uh, too high on the ground, uh, the, you, you are actually plus and Giovanna is not. Again, here we go with the sweep. RF trying to get that uh, sweet, sweet, sweet momentum. Trying to hold on to it dear for his life. Oh, and Kohide getting the juggle and the, uh, what's it called, the cavalry. Couldn't quite get anything else out of it. He tried to read a jump, but yeah, RF didn't commit to anything, unfortunately for him. Oh, uh, we're going to go hammer time, but Kohide, man, Kohide with the schmix is going to get the hard now down. What is the mix? Safe jump. No! And RF, here we go. Canceling uh, the mix, mix, mix. Oh, the spear connects. Unfortunately, connects off of the ground, so couldn't quite get anything off of it. And Lord, oh, the life of Kohide melted in like 1.6 seconds. It was crazy. I didn't even really have time to see what the hell happened. It like melted away like a magnificent poof. That was, that was crazy, man. Anyways, here we go with Kohide and the grab. Oh, and Kohide going for the fuzzy. That is uh, until RF landed on his nose using the dive. That being said, oh, Kohide tried to go for the Nisante, but did get scooped by Little Faust yet again. Kohide really needs to uh, get his momentum back because he is uh, down two matches currently. If he loses this one, he is out of the tournament. He did get... Counter hit, uh, he's not out of tournament. This is the winner's final on them. He'll be sent into loser's bracket. And that being said, Koide, here he goes with Adina Sante. Very nice confirm. Let's see how this pans out. And oh, the chicks from RF trying to keep Koide at bay. Oh, Lord, what the wake of freaking command, uh, the command grab from RF. Reading that Koide was going to go for a grab. That, that the cheekiness of this man. He's gonna get the wall break. RF definitely on point, man. What did all of these players eat today, man? I wanna eat the same thing. And that being said, the only thing that RF is going to eat right now is a Ventania straight in the nose. Okay, no, no entire red there, unfortunately, for RF. But the uh, hefty amount of. Uh, what's it called? The, the large amount of item made it so that RF was safe from Kohide's pressure. And manages to take uh, this round as well, thanks to a Bari wake up with a Bari uh, P. 
Okay, this is a set point though. If Kohide wins this one, uh, if uh, RF wins this one, he will be sending Kohide to the loser's bracket. Again with the dive kick, man, has been working so well for him. Kohide definitely feeling a little bit angsty right now, if I might say. Really probably a little bit annoyed to have to deal with so many stuff on the screen at the same time. Oh, very nice. Asante is again. Oh, okay. Oh, no. And the cavalry actually not working in Kohida's favor this time around. Ah, I knew we go with the juggle. Not enough to kill. A oh, little fast this year. Careful. Oh, Lord. Oh, and the spear. The spear is real. RF noticing that there was a trumpet going straight for it. Oh, Lord. And Kohida again is screwed by the 2S of RF. And just like this, oh, just update real quick the predictions. Uh, so RF took it pretty cleanly, not going to lie. And this time around, Mochi versus Rinka Caster Votes. Uh, voila, we are ready to rumble. Let's go, Rinka, my beloved. Rinka, people are counting on you. You have to do your best. Can he make the impossible? We shall see. So let me tell you guys what the parkour of, of Rinka right now, what he had to, to endure in order to come uh, so far. And tried so hard. So he defeated. Arinka defeated uh, Takarin, first and foremost. He defeated EY. <laughs> and he defeated Edo Setora as well. So yeah, he had quite the, the, the hard parkour, you know? And no, 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 seriously, he did so much, so well. And also in the loser's bracket, he defeated TY a second time. So yeah, basically, Arinka defeated TY twice in a row. This is crazy, man, if you think about it. So yeah, let's see how this pans out. Wow, so many aerial grabs with right there. Okay, and Eru try not Eru, uh, Renka trying to find the opening, but Mochi being the solid rock that he is all the time, might he manage to get the bait buff on the burst? He's going straight for Among Us. Boom! He is gonna get Eddie back. Here we go. This is pressure time. I tried to go for a quick bring out. Oh, and he goes for another dust for the kill. Renka taking the lead, still has his burst by the way, holy freaking lord. Okay, and on to the next battle. How are you doing, Timko? Welcome back, man. Okay, and here we go on to the next battle. Oh, lord! And Renka on point with the blocks. He goes for the freaking command grab. What is Mochi gonna do? What is Mochi gonna do? Oh, here we go with the jump in. Renka gonna get that sweet, sweet, sweet Among Us. Yep, boom! At it. Lord, things are looking bad for Mochi, not gonna lie, and freaking Renka taking the lead already, 1-0. Let's go, Indonesia, holy freaking lord. <laughs> Renka washing Mochi. <laughs> I cannot say otherwise, I mean, he, he took it clean for now, like two freaking, two freaking, like, uh, what's it called, um, two freaking rounds in a row. Yeah, let's see how this pans out, Mochi not out of this yet, all he needs is one hit. Oh lord! Okay, at least Renka didn't get hit by the gold burst. Again with the grab, man. Renka on point. Renka on point. And yeah, Mochi noticing the... Uh, what's it called? No, noticing the uh, the oppose right there, which was basically sign of Renka trying to go for a command grab. Okay, Renka with... Oh no! Again, man, Mochi. Okay, this time around. Should be fine. Oh, and the freaking double... That instant block from Mochi, man. Okay, and here we go with the wall break. And this time around, Mochi taking it back. Taking it back. It did look pretty good the first time, like the first round. But uh, Mochi uh, managing to bring it back slowly but surely. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Mochi got the burst bait. He's got the 6 HS counter in as well. Are you dead? Are you dead yet? Are you winning, son? Oh, and the quick dust for the kill. Mochi answering in due freaking form. One round apiece. We have a perfect tie, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if Renka can make uh, the miracle happen. Okay, Renka with uh, being... Oh, using this opportunity to get out of the freaking... Out of freaking corner. This time around putting Mochi in the corner himself. Nice six spear right there on the uh, the the bandit bringer man. Okay, really the Oh no! Very nice six speed. And finally the DP from Mochi saying I have had enough of it. 
again mochi getting hit by the quick dust very nice xp again from rinka couldn't quite get a punish on this 2k from mochi ah oh no the wake up goal first and mochi on point now it gets a 6p and the grab things are looking bad and the wake up freaking a bar from rinka unfortunately yeah, unfortunately, Mochi had committed to the 4S, man. Yeah, me neither. I, I didn't know you could uh, 6 speed drunken shade, dr drunken shade either. Here go the bandit revolver. Okay, invite hell. Oh, Eddie's out. Oh, the bandit bringer, man. That has been the bane of Rinka. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, man. The freaking pauses in Mochi's pressure are crazy. And this should be it. Yeah, Mochi selling the deal with the Tyrant Rave. Putting another one on the board. Yes, indeed. Mochi currently taking the a lead. 2-1. to one. How is this going to end? We shall see. Good lord. Oh, lord. We're going to close this. Close this. You have to hold it. No, no. You hate to see it. You ain't got forced to pop the burst. Okay. Back to the invite help. Oh, no. Here we go, Mochi trying to land and grab Rinka. Ah, nice 2S right there, got rid of Eddie at least. Yeah, Mochi will want to get in as close, soon as possible, but unfortunately... Oh, it's still okay, he did get rid of Eddie once again. Oh, he goes for the S for actually, hate to see it. No, too far to get the, the orange Roman cancel, the red Roman cancel. And this should not do. Still save. Rinka. Ah, oh, Rinka gets scooped by the two get. Okay, but this is a match point. Is Rinka gonna be able to do reverse trio? We shall see. Drunken Shade. Here we go with the ah, uh, the mixes are real. Okay, Rinka gonna get that sweep, that sweet, sweet sweep. Oh lord! And here we go with Rinka with the corner brother. Oh no, and that back dash from Mochi man. Tried to get the juggle with the vortex, but a little bit too far for it, I suppose. Okay, he's back. Oh, again, flame, no. Oh, and here we go with the trade. Mostly in favor of Rinka. Oh, almost got hit by the bandit bringer. Gets hit by the Fafnir. This is going to do a lot of damage. Uh, okay. Not out of this yet. Rinka trying to get out of the corner, successfully does so, tries to push Mochi in the other corner actually right now. Gonna get the knockdown. Here we go, the spice goes for the quick dust. Oh no, that was a correct read, but not high enough to catch. Oh, that was so, so, so close. Rinka really, really working hard for his life, trying to stay in the tournament. Finally gets the kill, man, with the spikes. Defense ball, yeah, man, that's crazy. Ah, this is looking pretty bad. Mochi getting the start of the round. He's gonna get the wall break. Yes, he is. Okie dokie. It's gonna be the yeah. Okay. Rinka trying to push Mochi in the corner. Here we go, the toad. Oh lord! Oh no! Clean jump in from Mochi. Who goes for the extended combo? Did oh no! Too far from the corner to get anything. And Rinka trying to go for the grab, but. Mochi smelling it, just backdashing and let's see how this pans out. Loser's final, Kohida versus Mochi. Is Kohida going to be able to uh, to contain that storm that is uh, Mochi's soul, man? So hard to deal with. That delayed bandit revolver definitely catching Kohida off guard, forcing him to pop the burst a little bit late. And here we go with the tick pressure from Mochi, finds the opening. Ah, Mochi with the knockdown, couldn't quite connect the bandit revolver though, but it's still okay, he does have the corner positioning now. Yes, the hit, and this should be enough to kill. Good stuff from Salt takes it, uh, good stuff from Mochi takes it with a perfect, very, very strong start of the round. And here we go, the 2D counter hit. Oh, good lord, and the 4, bro, freaking sliding grab right there from Kohide manages to get the jump in as well. Gotta get the wall break with the cannon drill. Oh, no entire... Oh, wow, that was a strange crossover. Cross-up. Wow, and Mochi with the delayed close S tech. Gonna get the... Tyrant! Eat on it! We don't need otakus. 
<laughs> I know he doesn't say this. Otaku wa irane! Hey, here we go with Mochi getting overdrive driven. And Kohide managing to take the second round. Quite convincingly, very nicely done. Let's see how this spins out. Oh, look! Oh, no! And here we go with the knockdown by Mochi trying to push Kohide ever so slightly in the corner. Here we go, the bent bandit bringer. Uh, Mochi with the uh, with the very very nice juggle. He's gonna get the wall break. Here was gonna be the next. Oh, Koide going for the grab. Okay, here we go, the tick pressure. Oh lord, how did you block that? How could you block that? Oh, and unfortunately for Koide, oh now gets hit by the revolver. And just like this, Mochi taking the first match. Good stuff from Mochi. But it's still not over till it's over. Koi did, can definitely make a comeback. We shall see. Oh, Lord. And the six big right there from Koi did trying to push Mochi ever so slightly in the corner. Mochi again with the sweeps, man, trying to fight his way out of the corner. Oh. No. Very nice sick pressure from Mochi forces Kohide to pop the golden bears. Oh, Mochi out. Did have to pay with his life. <laughs> they have to pay with his uh with his burst though. That's still okay. He has the advantage in Gita and in positioning as well. What was that Nasante? That was so sick. But still okay. Ah, oh, Mochi going for the tyrant rave. Rave! Mochi taking a clear and definite uh, lead right now. One match, one round. He get the knockdown. Here we go to grab. Goes for the safe jump. And freaking Kohide popping the Nasante out of nowhere. Manages to get the 6p as well. Ah, good stuff from Kohide. Gonna get... Oh no, couldn't quite get the jungle, but it's still okay. Oh, gets the simple tier. I confirm. Goes straight into the overdraft. He's gonna do a lot of, of freaking yo flower of soul for soul. How are you doing, man? Welcome back. Oh, nice punish right there from Kohide on the DP from Mochi Sol. Let's see how this turns out. Is Mochi oh, gonna bring it back? Oh, he's currently in the league, so is Kohide gonna bring it back and wake up DP from Mochi, man? Not afraid. And again, the wake up DP from Mochi. Definitely feeling that Yakuid is not respecting again. Oh, I thought he was gonna go for a third one. Okay, here we go. Take pressure from. Oh, Kohide punishes the recovery on the 2S. He's gonna get the hard knockdown. Okay, safe jumping coming. Nope. Just dash. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened? That was probably an execution, execution error, but due to the fact that Kohide crossed under, Mochi would probably change his input direction and made him. Uh, throw a revolver instead of a bringer but that's just my theory my game theory oh lord and Koida just going straight uh, through the uh gun plane does get the 6p counter hit and the juggle that comes with it decides to keep his bar for later use uh but does get hit by the 2s counter hit wow and the dp man just do it for mochi oh found the opening Forces Kohide to pop the burst and Kohide, man. Should be able to take it. Yeah. Oh, look. Yeah. Kohide, man, go using every single bar he had at his, at, at his disposal, man, just to get the kill. And he does. So good stuff from Kohide. Both opponents definitely want to win this one. Goes for a round start kick flip, man. Doesn't care. I don't give a freak. Here we go with the forest counter. Uh, the forest just block. Okay, and on to the rest. A very nice grab right there from Koide. Goes for the jump. Now, this jump is so ambiguous, man. Can I block from Koide? Oh, no. That was a missed time freaking grab from Mochi. This is so unfortunate. Okay, good stuff from Mochi. Punishing the whiff recovery from the simple to with the standing K. And, oh, Lord. Yeah, Mochi fighting to... Yeah, trying to fight his way out of the corner, but yeah, Kohide not letting it up, man. And Kohide actually taking it, man. Good stuff. Kohide bringing it back. Taking the lead, actually. Two to one. What is Mochi gonna do on the verge of getting eliminated? Good lord, who would have thought? 
Okay, here we go. The 2D, uh, the 2D swipe, uh, swipe, sweep, swipe. Okay, Mochi forced to pop the burst. Oh, didn't quite get a confirm off of this two, uh, this 6S, unfortunately. Oh, nice instant block right there on the Sepultura. Managed to get the punish. No, no, gets hit by the kick. Flippy, I hate to see it. And here we go with the wall break. Kohide on. Uh, currently in the lead. Oh no! Raw Bandit Revolver anyway with Kohide and his signature wake up overdrive. Ah, uh, no punish. Uh, no, no entire, no nothing, but it's still okay. Mochi respecting the fact that Kohide had a tension bar to make it safe. The Samurai Kohide using his tension bar. And Bandit. Oh no! Mochi with the low. Okay. Oh, very nice with punish 6P uh, actually from Kohide on set point on the verge of sending Mochi outside of the tournament, man. Very nice 6P though from Mochi. Gonna go. Oh, catches the back dash with the far S. Woo! Oh, cool. Fortunate Kohide jumps, well, uh, crosses under the bended bringer. That being said, Mochi with the counter hit. Uh, going for the tick pressure in the corner. Oh, Lord. Oh, goes for the overheads. Oh, and this is going to do a lot of damage. Not enough to kill by any means, but still some decent damage right here. We go with close S. Oh, Lord. Close S again. And kick flip, man. Oh. Going in with the grab. Oh, Lord. What? That was so, so crazy. Oh. Oh no, and Koide getting grabbed by his own. Okay, Mochi's still in there. Still not dead. Oh, you go with the knockdown. Wake up DP from Mochi. Oh, gets the 2 S counter hit. Oh, and Koide with the 2D. Oh, yeah, Mochi running straight into Kohide's offense right there. Koide getting the cross up. Goes for the safe jump. Ah, uh, no entire. Oh, Lord, Nasante's out. Wow, Mochi smelling, man. That grabs a temp from Kohide. Ah, no, this is really bad, actually. It's not over, but it definitely could be anytime. Oh, and Kohide eliminates Mochi with the 2D. Finals, ladies and gentlemen, RF versus Kohide. RF is currently in the winner's final, in the winner's side of the record, whereas Kohide is in the losers, which means that Kohide actually needs to win two sets in a row if he wants to win this tournament. Good freaking lord! And on with the start of the match, and we can see already RF with the jump in. Getting hit by Nasante though from Kohide. Thank you very much for the follow, Bioman. Thank you very much for the follow, Somedido. And thank you very much for the follow, Gaming of Hotaru-san. And welcome to the Brow Joe. Okay, anyways, here we go with the tick pressure in the corner. Kohide rocking that Nasante, man. Forcing Arf to pop the burst. Oh, no, no Nasante this time around. And here we go with uh, the cav cavalry. Unfortunately, a little bit too far. Woo! Oh, and Koide going straight with a quick dust right after popping the overdrive to catch uh, to catch RF off guard. And Koide takes uh, the lead, currently one round to zero. Thank you very much for the fall combo, and welcome to the Brothers as well. Everybody, welcome to the Brothers. <laughs> Here we go with the air-to-air -air counter hit in favor of Koide. Gonna get the wall break, that sweet, sweet, sweet wall break and positive bonus. Let's see how this spins out. Ah, no entire right there. But then again, try to enter this attack is very, very hard. That being said, oh, RF did get the cavalry. Oh, and nice burst, Kohide. Okay, but Kohide not out of it yet. Just get hit again by Little Faust. Very nice use of the, uh, what's it called? Of the world back kick. Oh, no. Are you going to do it again? Oh, what the hell? Unfortunate for Kohide got interrupted by the bomb right there. That was so unfortunate. This could go either ways. So he definitely oh, gets it by the far slash. Good stuff from Ora. Brings one round to the table. <clears throat> and back to the neutral. And Kohide getting hit by the weight. Uh oh. Ah, uh, yeah. No, oh, you can see RF definitely didn't want Kohide to uh, get the trumpet. But uh, yeah. Oh, look at the juggle. The juggle using the minions. And Koide going straight into Ventania for added ter uh, for added uh, damage, actually. 
Good stuff from Koide. Going for the 2D. Almost got hit by the spear. Uh, he's going to get the juggle, and this should be enough for him to take this match. Very nicely done. A nice first match from Koide. Takes the lead 1 0. Wasn't the bomb, it was a burst intro. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Okay, I'm I'm getting sleepy after all. But yeah, very yeah, that was that was indeed the case. And here we go with our Ev going for the command grab and that wonderful wig putting it on fire. We don't need no water and Koida unfortunately gets it by the explosion. And just like this RF getting uh, the wall break and that positive bonus. We did not afraid to just Oh Lord, what was that? That was so strange. Thank you very much, Born by Midnight. And Koide with the tick pressure using the, the small hop that the Nasante gives you when you actually pop it. To Roman cancel. Quick Roman cancel. Oh, look, this is going to do a lot of damage. Unfortunately, couldn't quite get anything else off of it, but still got the kill. RF taking the, uh, well, taking the first round, not the lead. The lead currently resides in Koide's lap. That being said, Kohide, ooh, that just, that just block was a pretty good. RF again with the tick throw, man. Thank you very much for the follow, Clint, and welcome to the Brojo. We're going with the jump in by RF, wants to get that sweet, sweet wig on fire. Who wouldn't? Oh, he's going to get the jungle off of the meteors. A full combo, look at that. RF with the swag combos right here. I'll guess the free. Oh lord, that was sick. That was so sick. And still gets the kill right there. That was sick what he did right now. RF puts one back on the board. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. See if Kohide can uh, secure another one, though. Oh, can Kohide with the tick pressure. Oh lord. Tries to whiff punish. A little bit too far, though. Here we go to grab. Kohide gonna get a knockdown. Goes for another grab. But Giovanna is a grappler. If y'all ever doubted it, this is your proof. Alright, we got the Kendrill and RF with the dive kick. Oh! Wake up, go! Look, burst! A very nice. Oh, nice back right there from Kohide not to get hit by the command grab. Forces RF to pop the burst. Ah, uh, again, man, RF with the dive kicks. It's been working so well for him. Ah, uh, overhead again. Ah, uh, oh, Lord! Nice straight from RF. If it wasn't the case, he would have been wall broken with the overdrive of Kohide. And Kohide with the air to air, man, and the juggle, and he's gonna get the kill. Kohide puts one on the board as well. Oh, Lord. Thank you very much for the follow, by the way. Okay, anyways, uh, here we go with Kohide getting hit by the hammer. Ah, RF trying to find his way in. But yeah, Koida being very, very, very versatile and hard to pin down. That being said, RF, yeah, still in the corner, his back to the corner. Forced to pop the wire C, tried to go for a command grab, but Koida was reading it and went for a backdash instead. Into the Ventania. Ah, uh, RF on the verge of losing this one, though. Lord out! Yeah, you can see RF definitely feeling like he was gonna get hit by this. Okay, here we go with the tick pressure. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, and the blocks, though. The blocks. The blocks of RF are real, but still. That was overwhelming. Koide taking the lead 2 to 1. Is Koide going to be able to get a reset on this one? We shall see. Okay, here we go. Oh, no. And the grab from Koide goes with the jump in. Ah, nice stuff from RF. Gonna get the knockdown. Oh, again, man. Kohide with the pressure. Oh, uh, he goes... No, he goes for the sweep. Kohide on the floor and gonna get hit by the spear. This is a full combo, by the way. Oh, and he goes for the extension station. Look at that, man. That was sick. That was so sick. RF, the freaking Faust god, man. Again, here we go with the pressure. No, I'm getting hit while in, in scarecrow mode. Gonna get juggled for days. That being said, Kohide finally letting him through the wall. Oh, and it's him with the Nasante, and this should do. Lord, Kohide on the verge of resetting the bracket. That would be sick as well. Here we go with the spear. 
And Doyle finding the opening. Goes for the low. Going home. Oh no! You hate to see it! Here we go, the wall break. Okay, go heat it. Ah, oh, gets the whip punish. Oh, he goes for the Sante. Ah, oh, the pressure's real. Ah, uh, okay, finally Arv gets out of the corner, but oh, the Rose Kohide in the freaking trumpet, unfortunately. A little foul is out. L little foul is out. Oh, and Kohide gets the hit on the over, freaking on the aerial overdrive. The bracket has been reset, ladies and gents. Holy freaking lord, three to one by Kohide. We are going on to the reset point, man. Good freaking lord. Oh, so that means that RF is currently in the loser's bracket as well. We are going down for one more set, ladies and gentlemen. Holy freaking lord. Oh, I need to update this as well. Grand finale. Reset. Good stuff from Koide. Resetted the bracket. Okay, so both opponents now in the loser's bracket. The one who takes this set is... The one who will take it all. That being said, Little Faust definitely not want to let his dad just go and, and, and lose like that. But, just as I say this, are getting getting juggled for days. Having touched the ground for over five minutes. Okay, Nor finally on the ground gets hit by the 2k2. He countered it and this should actually do. Yes, it will. Koide currently taking the lead, man. Holy freaking lord. What is Faust gonna do? What is Arv gonna do? Oh god, here we go with the 6p counter from Koide. Drops the combo, unfortunately, but does get still the knockdown, so it's okay. Very nice forward dash into the command grab from Arv. Of course, when he cross up, mix, mix, mix. Goes for the instant overhead and baits the YRC. Here we go with RF popping the overdrive. He's gonna get a heart knockdown. <laughs> Good stuff from RF. That's what Yoki said. Goes for the freaking syringe. And RF not out of it yet. Three. One round apiece. Who is going to take this one? The one who who's gonna take this one is going to have like a. a, a a clear, how do you say it? A clear advantage, like health, uh, mentally health wise, I feel, because it's gonna be so. Th this match is. Nah, it's really, 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 really tight. Okay, anyways, Koede currently having the the better health lead. Oh, Lloyd at that back, that's from Koede, and he should be able to take it. Koede, Koede taking the lead, man, completely. One match up for Koede. Let's see if RF can make, you know, some sort of adjustment to try to reverse the freaking momentum that is clearly in favor of Kohide right now. Anyways, here we go with the hammer, coming to save Faust. Unfortunately, both opponents get hit by the, by the, um, by the weight. The corner positioning for RF, unfortunately for him, does get the hit. Oh, Lord. Ah, yeah, Kohide, man, with the in, out, in, out, very hard to, oh, nice blocks from RF. At the absolute last minute, by the way. You're, oh, nice juggle from RF. Couldn't quite get that much out of it, though. Just as I say this, Koide with the 2D counter. It goes with a side switch. And you should be able to get the wall break, but not the kill. What is RF going to do? Oh, the jump in. Very nice 6P right there from RF. Uh, little Faust is out there to help his father. No entire... Oh lord, and the quake dust, man. Yeah. Oh, Kuide wants it so bad and gets the hit, the whiff punish on the overhead, man. What is gonna happen? Is this gonna be a clean 3 to 0? That would be sick. Okay, and here we go with Kohide with the entire. Want to catch RF out of the corner. Oh lord, gets the hit on the two with the 2 HS. And also the hit with the cannon drill. Okay, we got the checks and unfortunately for RF is standing K gets it by the Nasante. Into the Ventania for hard knockdown. Watch the schmicks. 
Ah, good check right there from RF also catches. E bag dash of Kohide with the closest. Okay, Kohide smelling blood and a banana. Oh! Oh, Lord! Well, he had it actually here, but it's okay. He gets it with the empty low. With the low. Go hit him, man. 2-0. to zero. He is on the verge of actually taking it. Is Koide going to be able to make it back? This is crazy. Especially since you take into account that RF was the one to send him in the losers. If I'm correct. I think it was the case, right? Yeah, it was. RF sent Koide to the losers. Um... Yeah, he did. 3-0, to zero, by the way. And right now, like, Kohide is doing a reverse 3-0 to zero to him. As in, what you can do, I can definitely do better, man. And just as I said, look at this, man. Kohide taking the life leave. He doesn't have a tension bar, though. Oh, and then Tyrus with the 2D. Are you freaking serious? Kohide on the verge of taking it. He is on tournament point, ladies and gentlemen, with the reverse 3 Oh, Holy freaking lord. What is Arif gonna do? Okay, final, potential final rounds of this tournament. Oh, Lord, the, oh, the freaking back dash from freaking Koida. No, gets the entire on the dive. The dive that has been so pesky for him. Okay, here we go, Koida, wanting to use the trumpet. Very nicely done. Gonna get the wall break. Doesn't go for the Ventania. Oh, what is going to happen? No, oh, he goes for the grab. Arif, the entire straights. In dire straits. Oh no, 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 too far, too far. Oh, I'm waiting. Oh no, and just like this. Just like this. Koine takes it with the Ventania and takes the tournament with the reverse.